Bounties are for fun, little girl. Again, I can't make anyone do anything. This is not a commitment. There's no legal contract. These are people saying they're going to do something nice, right? So if you say you're going to do something nice, then do it. And if you don't, you're banned. Oh, uh, Rob, you owe me easy money, all right? 10, 20, 40, bruh. Easy money. Uh, woo. 10, 20, 40. Easy money. $10 out 10. $20 top oh, five. Damn. Got the bag, got the bag, got the bag. Correct? Dope. I have your super chat right here. That's 40 bucks. And if you don't pay up, I'm going to open the door and shoot you. <laughs> You owe me easy money. Easy right. band. 10, 20, 40 burgers. Correct. Easy money. Jasper. Uh, 10, 20, 40. Easy money. Bruh. Easy money. Bruh. 10, 20, 40. Correct. Damn. Easy money. 10, 20, 40. That's easy money. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Yet another stream, yet another day. Okay, you can stop now. Okay, what a good audience. What a good audience. Uh, I got the soundboard back, and it's brand new. Uh, let me just save it real quick. Uh, and, and, uh, now I'm going to play through the sounds, because they're, they're completely different. Uh, I, I think they're all normalized, so nothing should be super loud or really obnoxious. But if you think it is, then leave a comment or tag me in chat or something. So now we're going to start with some basic sound effects, right? We got the, the applause that I just played. We got the DWO, uh, a -woo, a -woo! which is a, a signature trademark of the dinner slash Derek slash detractor world order. Uh, then we got a classic, a bruh, bruh, which is uh, one of those bruh, bro, brah, fantastic. Then I got the classic vine boom. I would love to spam that as one of my favorite sounds. And then we got the, the, the Pastor Miller feature, which is, uh, I, I found so many fun ones. And I'm going to start with this one. This is... By far my favorite one. Get a load of this one. Snort man, you getting raped, dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, then let's move on to the next one. You heard this uh, yesterday in the last stream. Talk about my wife. Please. Please. I don't know when the one about snort is going to get played, but I clipped it, which is, is very important. I clipped it. Then we get one about the boyfriends. Shout out to all the boyfriends. I need my boyfriends. <laughs> I need my boyfriends, dog. I need them. Damn, where are my boyfriends? Damn. Um, and then we got the some other classic ones like the punk ass uh, boyfriends. Punk ass bitches. What a punk ass bitch. A feminine man ain't strong enough. Ain't strong enough, gang. Uh, then we got the you need help and you need Jesus. I got both of them. You need help. You need Jesus. Fantastic ones. Then we get into the DSP side of stuff, which uh, there's still more slots to be filled, uh, so I'm looking for the right clips. Uh, but right now I got the, the got the bag. Got the bag, got the bag, got the bag. And we got uh, the super snort, which is a snort with reverb and delay. This is, uh, this is gonna burst out through the subwoofers gonna explode everything uh then we got a, another classic a, a that being said classic burger burger b -b 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 burger the burger uh then we got a shout out to the wife i love the horse then we got a shout out to jasper jasper <laughs> and then uh one of the more recent ones someone called me the throat goat the throat goat the glizzy gobbler the renton uh I don't know. Snort, man, you getting raped, dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the last one is uh, easily banned. Easily banned. <laughs> easily banned. And this is the, the brand new soundboard. I'm going to be abusing it today. Um, 
And yeah, shout out to all the boyfriends. I need my boyfriend. And uh, shout out to everybody in chat. Uh, we're going to watch some DSP stuff. Let me play another song so I can get myself some sort of a drink and light up uh, a cigarette style cigarette. And yeah, today I'm with a different microphone. If you like this one more, I can keep using it. This is like an actual microphone. It's not a it's not a headset. So yeah, if, if this one is cooler, I can keep using it. But if it's not, then I'll use the other one. I just forgot it. The office. The office. So yeah, I mean, shout out everything. Shout out horse. Shout out boyfriends. I love the horse. Uh, there's Echo. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I figured the other one would sound better. But I didn't get time to do an actual check. How would I fix the echo? Hmm. I don't know, dude. Uh, I don't know. Let me see if everything is set. It should be set to the right microphone. So it's not like the, the headset thing. I don't know. There's no effects on it. So it should be... Whatever. All right. Anyways, you're going to suffer through it this one because you're a, you're a real soldier of God chosen to fight in the in the fight against detractors and lol cows. Uh, so uh, it might be the, the room. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a pretty big room right now. So uh, if you don't like it, you can eat a burger. Burger. And OK, let's uh, let's start with some songs. I'm going to prep some clips. Uh, he was talking about, uh, I don't know, being trash at Call of Duty or something. And uh, then he talked about Destiny, but I, I don't really feel like watching that clip of him shit talking Destiny because I seen the context and it's there's really not much to it, and it's it's just a stupid plot line. Plus, he decided not to do the interview anymore, so it it kind of is all super redundant right now. So I guess uh, we might end up watching the Secret Limited video, which is super long. So I'm not gonna even finish that one. So I don't even know what I'm doing here today. Bruh. Anyways, uh, another song so I can get everything ready and we continue on with life. Vest is best is up next. This vest is a symbol of that positivity. It's a symbol that together we can have fun as long as we stay positive. We can overcome anything together. I firmly believe at this point in my life, all right, that no matter what comes my way, that we can work together to overcome it. All right. But that being said, it's time for something new. Which vest is best? Which vest is e beggar best? Okay, vest is best. Which vest yeah. is best? Young cat got that 150 on my chest. Oh. Bitches all around me, and they let me touch their breasts. Got that saggy man boobs flowing, Burger. but that members count keep. So I got to put it on a vest. Vest. Vest is best. 150. Okay. 150 for the best. Okay. 150 and I put it on my chest. Okay. The vest goal has been pretty hard to hit recently. And that's tough when, you know, things are tight. I get, I get it. Things have been tight for a lot of people, you know. Another thing I don't want people to freak out about is the members. The members right now are super low. Yes, I'm feeling fucking blessed. Begging for hats and glasses and a vest. Coping and coping that the pay pigs will impress. Everybody's begging me. Stop spending on a WWE. Which vest okay. is best? Which vest is e beggar best? 150. Vest. 150. Vest. Which vest for the best is best? Which 150 and I put it on my chest? Okay. Vest is best. Vest is best. Okay. Vest is best. 150. Vest is best. Vest is best. Vest is best. Vest is best. All right, dogs and girls. Uh, we're about to start first with uh, him having a bad night playing Warzone. Fantastic. Uh, fantastic game. He is great at it. Somehow, for some reason, he had a bad night. Uh, so, 
And we're gonna find out why. And then on the late stream, it was Warzel. So this is a, a part of his daily rap, I guess. But I don't like watching that thing, so we're gonna watch a clip of it. That big ups uh, Snort Hogan. Uh, I don't know what happened in the in the Warzone thing. I don't watch his gameplay stuff, but uh, I'm gonna make a crazy guess and say that it it was trash. And he was bad at the game, and he played it like a six year old would. And that's basically the result he got. And once again, people laying out these challenges for me to basically try to do like top twenty, top ten, top five. Um, which is usually a pattern now when I play Warzone. Everyone wants me to do well, but sadly there's going to be nights when I'm not going to do well. Last time around, I didn't do well to the last match, and because it was the last match, no one saw it. A lot of people had already quit. <laughs> All right. Tonight literally was one of the worst Warzone nights I've ever had. Um, it was like every possible thing was conspiring against me. First, we had stream snipers, um, which was annoying. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm gonna see that one. Uh, there were dudes with uh, the name WWE Champions adding him in the game, sending him uh, friend requests, and I think they actually got him killed a couple of times as well. So that was kind of funny. Uh, I'm gonna go through that. Uh, so, yeah, that, that that is a thing that I saw happen. Friend requests. After about 45 minutes of that, someone finally looked it up and found a way to disable pop-up messages because get this, just listen to this. In the beta of Warzone, they had streamer mode, meaning it hides everyone's names or whatever, and therefore it stops any kind of intrusive nature of stuff happening. They removed it for the real game. So once you bought the game for 60, 70 bucks, they removed the streamer mode, okay? So now, you know, it's kind of annoying because you wish you had those defenses so people couldn't try to mess with you and harass you, but it is what it is. So then they had the ability to make it so that there's no pop-ups on screen, no one can send you invites. I had that enabled since the get-go and never had a problem. All of a sudden tonight, non-stop pop-ups. Why? Because they updated the game last week and they removed it. They removed it. Why? Because they're stupid. There's no other explanation. Why would you remove? <laughs> yeah, for real though. Why would they do that? Uh, those games should have a streamer mode because it's like people like um, Dr. Disrespect are playing it. You don't want to get stream sniped by dudes who know where you're at every chance. I don't know. There might have been some reason, but it's also Call of Duty. They do random stuff constantly. Uh, but uh, let's find out why, according to DSP. I mean, according to DSP, it's because they're idiots. That Obviously, everybody else is an idiot. So To prevent people from spamming you with friend invites. It doesn't make any sense. It's just asinine. So instead of having the ability to say, hey, just don't send me the invites, which I would have preferred, basically someone looked it up and said, oh, but get this, there's a menu. And in the menu, you need to know to press right trigger, even though on the menu, nowhere on the screen does it say press right trigger for options. You're just supposed to know this. And when you do it, there's options that say what kind of pop-ups you want. You can disable all pop-ups. So I did. So basically, it took an hour, but we got all pop-ups disabled and the trolling stopped. Okay? But just outside of the trolling and, and the stream sniping, it was just a bad night. Like, a lot of my drop placements, I just had bad luck where it ended up with a bunch of other people. And we'd have a big shootout and you end up dying within a few minutes. Some of the gulags were very annoying, and some of them I did good. I again, gulag king, where a few times I was. Did he have a? Did he have an hour worth of people trolling him, and he just sitting there being salty, until he figured out how to turn it off? I should check this one out. This sounds pretty funny. <laughs> he spent an hour. Uh, wasn't it like a two-hour stream on the night stream playing a Warzone? So he spent half of the time getting trolled. That's some wings of redemption shit. Thing, but still. You can only do so much in the gulag. Whenever it seemed like whenever we were getting to fights out in the world, a lot of the times it was baloney. Here's tonight's big baloney play. Okay. So there's a guy who's some Oh no, no. This like why why is this a thing with DSP where he needs to, to feel like he should tell you play by play what happened in the video game? Like it's a kid telling to their grandparents what he did in a video game. It's so stupid, man. Just tell him to go check out the stream. Or make it a short or something. Damn off in the distance he must have a scoped gun and he keeps shooting me in the ass i avoid him twice i keep putting Damn. plates in he's still after me he's still finding me okay i've had enough so i jump over a fence and i go prone he jumps over me and starts to go into a house thing i'm in there i'm not i get up i start shooting him in the back now of course he has full armor he's not dead yet so he goes into the house i said watch this i threw a grenade in the door and i run all the way alongside the outside of the house while he's running parallel in the house I figure he's going to burst out of this window thinking I'm there and I'm going to get him. So I'm laying, I'm ready for him. Okay. He bursts out of the window. All so I'm laying, I'm ready for him. 
Snort, man, you getting raped, dog. I'm sorry. All of a sudden, I start coughing as if there's gas. There's no gas anywhere. I can't move, and he insta-kills me. You watch the kill cam. On the kill cam, I'm shooting the guy from behind. He runs into the house. And this is the this is the last time I'm going to play this one because it's super toxified. I don't want to make this into a joke. This is not a new mic. It's the old mic. I just forgot my headset at work. He turns around and throws a gas grenade behind him at the door. It literally is at the other end of the house. At the door, I never even went near. Remember, I ran on the outside of the house on the side of it. I'm at the other side of the house waiting for him. His gas grenade that he threw at the doorway that I never went to hit me and made me cough with gas so that he got an insta-kill. It didn't make any sense. It didn't never showed the gas connecting with me ever on Bruh. screen. The game is a laggy piece of dog shit. I I'm sorry. It just is. It <laughs> he got gassed and he got super salty about it. Damn. That was great, man. It's great how angry he is at something that happened on the on the previous stream. And he's still angry about it. So he needs to tell you the whole play. I'm not I'm not gonna go and watch it. I trust him because of course DSP is always he he always uh knows exactly what happened to the extent where he doesn't even need to look at the kill cam. He knows better than the kill cam because the kill cam lies. It's terrible. I can't believe this is supposed to be treated as a legitimate game with that. Ha yeah, he, he should have used the inhaler. It got a uh, full on oxygen inside. It was blatant for all to see. The gas never even got near me. He threw it at an empty part of the house that I wasn't walking towards. I was outside of the house. How did I get gassed? It's just ridiculous. And of course, other stuff like that too. Firefights where, look, again, looks like I should win. I, I'm losing or whatever. Frustrating. So overall, I couldn't even tell you what my best placing was tonight. I don't think I lasted more than 10 minutes in any given match. Probably barely made top 50 if I even did. Um, Very frustrating. And, you know, it's frustrating as well. Again, it's similar to a night that I had a few weeks ago where, you know, looking for a strong finish to the to the night and i you know if the game doesn't agree with me there's not much i can do i'm not there's going to be nights entire nights in warzone that there's nothing i can do it doesn't matter how hard i try or how well i try to play. <laughs> there's I nothing die, i can do I die and never make, get a good placement so uh, that's just like on youtube dude there's nothing you can do you just die 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 you fail you fail but at the end of the day at least he's the throat goat someone called me the throat goat well at least he got that going it's frustrating because at a night when people are challenging me to make top 20, make top 10, I'm not even getting close. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Look at what's happening. And, and the thing is, what is making him saltier is the fact that somebody promised him money and then he failed. If he just failed, he would still be salty, but he wouldn't be as salty as he is now. And now he is more salty. So he found, found out a scam that he can run for himself that actually makes him more angry. So uh, big ups to the SP. You're the king of positivity, my guy. The king. Bruh. Happening. It's not like, oh, Phil got outplayed a million times. It's just bad luck, bad placements, and bullshit like that situation. Um, You know, you just got to kind of shrug and say whatever. But it is what it is. It sucked. Like, I, no one, like, a ton of people were challenging me to do well, and I didn't fulfill one challenge tonight because it was just a bad night, okay? Also, it was the last chance today to hit our Tier 2 t uh, members goal. We didn't even get close. I think we got like two members today. So is now <laughs> and he, he moved the goalposts for that one. Um, yeah, I don't know uh, how much it used to be, but he moved the goalposts successfully. I think even twice, and he still couldn't hit it. I think it was 515, and then he lowered it to 500, and he couldn't hit it. And that was for him reacting to uh, June the King, and he failed, I think. So, uh, you're gonna see this another time. Wary, it's over. Starting tomorrow, February 1st, we get a lot of new things. Number one, I'm gonna have new decorations. In fact, the moment I stop recording this, I'm actually gonna go grab them and set them up to see how they look on camera. I have to do some adjustments probably behind me to make them look good. We're also gonna have a new member's goal. I think you're gonna like this member's goal. It's gonna be interesting and something original that I haven't really done before. Although it is a throwback to something that I did a couple years ago that I think you guys liked, and I think that it's kind of a variation on that. <laughs> like it wait 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 in the same breath it's original it's something i haven't done before but it's a throwback to something that i did before so it's kind of like that but i that specific thing i haven't done before i guess
So go figure. It's gonna be some react to something stupid and eating pizza or something, or he's gonna eat penne or some some other detractor meme. Um, it's the new shorts system here on YouTube tomorrow. All right, we'll see how that goes. At oh, we're super hyped. Have a very special YouTube short. He is gonna let himself down so much, so much, because it's not gonna go the way he thinks. He's not gonna make a massive amount of money. Because shorts are not going to pay out as much as he thinks. It's not going to be like a video that you watch like 30 minutes of. It's a short that is a minute long. So you shouldn't expect to make a lot of money unless it gets like a million views. I'm going to upload in the morning for you guys. It's actually a throwback one of one of the funniest moments that ever happened here on DSP Gaming in my 15 years as a gamer. So I think you guys are really going to like this one. And tomorrow it's going to be heading into the end game of dead space remake i actually don't think we're going to beat it considering we just started chapter eight and the game has 13 chapters and there's some added content in this one hey big ups uh mr extravagant can you guys hear the tts on this i think because i couldn't uh but yeah big ups crying emojis in chat for missing the members call a million crying emojis oh you couldn't uh then maybe i should fix it somehow somehow i think i did Okay. I'm going to replay this to see if, if it did. And it didn't. Crying well, this is what life is sometimes. Goal. Sometimes uh, you try and do everything correct. You do nothing wrong. And you end up doing nothing correct. And everything wrong. We're going to probably need tomorrow. Oh, now you heard it? I didn't hear it. But uh, th there we go. At least you hear it. Tomorrow's mainstream and then one more late night stream to finish the game later in the week. So tomorrow we'll get as far as we can in Dead Space Remake. And then tomorrow night it is the premiere of Hi-Fi Rush on the late stream at 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to give it a go and see what it's all about. So many people have played it and loved it. Reviewers love it. I'm excited. It's a Game Pass game. So I'm jumping in and we're going to see how it goes tomorrow. All right. So... Yes, I am here on Wednesday, February 1st. There's a bunch of new stuff happening all at once, so I certainly hope that you will join me for all of the festivities and fun tomorrow. Thanks very much for a great streaming day. And by the way, even though we didn't really go, don't go too good with tips today, all their support was great. Tonight on the late stream, we had a ton of super chats. So that's actually very helpful last day of the month because that means I'll get it in February, and that'll help a lot. So thank you to anyone who contributed in any way today. I really do appreciate that. All right, guys? Tomorrow, first day of February. Hope to start it strong. Please have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow for some fun variety and festivities. Oh, and by the way, festivities. Uh, tomorrow, I think we will take the opportunity to maybe order some things for the upcoming Super Bowl event. Oh, no. Oh, no. This podcast is going to be dog shit. It's just going to be the, the Amazon stream. Ah, oh, this is going to be terrible. Man. Ah. Uh. Hopefully all the boyfriends restreaming it are gonna have a nice time. I need my boyfriend! <laughs> because boyfriends. So this was this one. Let's see what else uh, we got. I think it was here, him getting trolled. So let's see the, the context of him getting trolled. And uh, first I guess we can see the context of uh, the, the lowering the members goal. So we can get all the, all the context on that one. Because that one is very important. I guess we should start. Shall we? We have so much to talk about. Shall we? Before we get into any of that, today is the absolute last day of the month. No kidding. But that means it's the last chance for us to hit our stretch members goal of 525 members. Do we have to hit it? No. Is it the end of the world if we don't hit it? No. Am I doing a bad job of selling hitting that today? Yes. I just want you guys to, to understand the realism of the situation. We already hit the tier one members goal. That's tremendous. Thank you so much for that support. Really. <laughs> he needs to tell you the realism of the situation. <laughs> the realism. <laughs> what, the, what? What? I really. Am I doing a bad job selling it to you? Yes. Okay, so you didn't shill it enough. So that that's basically what he says. I didn't promote the member's goal enough. I should do it more. Appreciate that. <clears throat> and because we already hit that goal, that means that... Uh, you know, we're going to have our Super Bowl event coming up, and I'm very excited for that, okay? However, yeah, this month traditionally is the slowest month of the year on YouTube. It was. Like, I saw my revenue dip like this on YouTube because they just don't have many ads to run, which is really stupid, I know. Guy, you, you just don't have many views to monetize. Like, come on. He's complaining about ad revenue. And, 
Okay, let's see uh, DSP Space Gaming, the the number one channel that comes up when you look up DSP Gaming. That is also called DSP Gaming. Like, dude, of course it it plummets. When was the last time he broke a thousand views? When was this? Two days ago? It's not two days ago. It's not three days ago. Oh, this is getting tragic. This is Tragic Johnson. Oh, we got... Okay, we got Dead Space Remake. Uh, episode 5, Episode 4. So, four days ago. It takes him four days to break a thousand views. Philip, What is happening here, dude? What is happening? Damn, this channel really fell off in the last year. It fell off incredibly. Oh, uh, he needs help. You need help! Or maybe he needs Jesus. You need Jesus. Bruh. I, do you want to know the truth? I think they've been saving up the ads. I, I don't even think Jesus can help him. As I said to you guys all, all month here, February 1st, tomorrow, YouTube launches their new ad campaign on YouTube Shorts, where they're going to run ads between shorts, and I think that they're they're kind of banking on this to be big bucks for them. So I think what they... I think you are. ...back on ad campaigns and things, and they're probably going to start tomorrow with the YouTube shorts. So it's been a very slow month on YouTube when it comes to behind the scenes kind of revenue. You know what I'm saying? Ad revenue and the like. So we hit the tier one members goal. That was great. If we happen to hit this today, this would help a lot more. This would help to make up for the fact that it's one of the slowest months. Well, it is the slowest month all year on YouTube. So <laughs> so this segment, member. okay. So this segment uh, started off by him admitting he didn't beg hard enough. For the members goal for for tier two members goal and then he begged because it would negate the the negativity that came from uh, him not getting enough ad revenue please consider renewing a membership if you had one and it lapsed or possibly consider gifting a membership today all right in fact to make it even more tantalizing since it is the final day to hit the goal i have decided to lower the goal. And again, there we go. There we go, 500. It matters, it's just an arbitrary number. <laughs> oh, it's just an arbitrary number. Then you can set it to uh, the your current amount of members plus one, if it's just an arbitrary number. So now it doesn't matter. But when Christmas was around the corner, he was gatekeeping the Christmas event. It was paywalled. So you had to wail out. But it's an arbitrary number. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. So, so let's just move the goalpost. 500 members by the end of today. <laughs> we're locking into a special uh, event. Dude. That event. I will do a react event in February where I will react to one of the three newest documentaries from June the King, the online documentarian with a YouTube channel. Three documentaries I'm most interested in reacting to. Pro Jared, Toby Turner, Channel Awesome. Why? Because he hates them all, and he wants to make it about himself. And he had beef with two of them, and the third one, they didn't want him to be a part of their gaming division, but that one failed. And then it was all, it all blew up in a bunch of, like, controversy. So he just wants to power trip on them and be like, oh, you see? Uh, they're idiots. And, and I, I did nothing wrong, actually. I think all three of those documentaries would be absolutely amazing to watch and react to. I have a vested interest in all three. I've had interactions with and or. And also I saw I saw that he, he called Wings tacky because uh, Wings was blowing bubbles and then he backpedaled real quick because for some reason he he likes his boyfriend Wings. He, he cries for him all the time. And when, when he wanted to react to the Wings down the rabbit hole um, and in the June the King one, he was hitting him up. It's like, sir, I hope I made you look good today. I need my boyfriend. They're, they're very good boyfriends. Wings and DSP are better boyfriends than Rich and DSP. Some kind of involvement with all three of those, those people and or groups over the years. So I think it would be a great thing to do. All right. So please consider becoming a member or gifting a membership today to make that happen. It would be amazing if by the end of today, there could be a rallying and we hit it and we're like, wow. So now not only do we have a Super Bowl event to look forward to in February, but by the end of the month, we're going to do a special React event as well. That would be awesome, no? I'm very excited for that. So let's see what happens. That would be awesome, correct? All right. And uh, thanks in advance, all right? Now, I've already mentioned that. I'm not going to mention it again. 
until maybe the very end of the podcast and then probably when we start gaming. I don't want to be harping on it all day, okay? I got the drip go. I got the drip go. So yeah, this was uh, this was this one. Hey, uh, big ups, duty for being a member, dude. Big ups, boyfriend. I, 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 I need my boyfriend. Damn. Uh, anyways, next up is uh, unrecorded begging for. It would be great if you can give me money. That's how it's called. <laughs> so let's see. I think I think that would be great, dude. I think it would be great. Actually, this way. So this is for an, an optional quest. So we'll do both at once. Cool. All right. All right, guys. So, I hope you're enjoying. Big ups, uh, Dayglow, for 14 months, dude. That's a long time. Dead Space stream. Thank you for being a great audience. It's time for our break. It will be a shorter break because I did take a longer. Uh, 14 months ago, DSP could break more than a thousand views within a within even a single day, and nowadays it takes him like three days, unless he he has a massive drama stream. Break earlier to use the bathroom. So. Or he gets hit by like copyright strikes or something. It'll be like a 15 minute break, and then when we come back. There'll be another hour of Dead Space Remake on the stream, okay? Now, if you guys are enjoying yourselves, by the way, I don't know what just happened. If you guys are enjoying yourselves, thanks for watching. Please consider engaging in one of the many ways you can, whether it's liking the stream or contributing in another way. I do have another hour after the fact, and it would be great if we could get some more support by the end of the stream. Uh, what I've been noticing is that it seems like all the support comes in on the pre-stream or the first hour of gameplay. Yes. It just, like, completely dies after that. Um... But it certainly would be great if we get some more support on today's stream. All right. Thank you all. I'll see you after the break. Hey, big ups for the for the 10 gifts, duty. Big ups, man. Uh, and big ups to everybody who got them. I'm going to turn off the alert so you don't get spammed. But, oh my god, the emotes are going, going crazy on this one. I should have turned them down. But yeah, today's microphone is, is spicy as hell. Uh, tomorrow is going to be better. Because I'm going to be getting my actual real microphone. So, yeah, it would be nice, you guys. And he noticed that he gets the most money when he's the most entertaining, which is the pre-stream, because he loses his mind rambling about stuff, and then it drops off. Wow, no no surprise. No surprise there. And now we're at the, at the Warzone thing. So we're going to see him getting a bunch of friend requests being trolled, and we're going to get him... Uh, him probably... That gas moment where he got like killed by a gas grenade or something... So we're gonna get to see that one as well. And, oh yeah, we already got a friend request by WW Champions wants to be your friend. Damn, just, just, just take it, dude. Just take it. Just accept it. Embrace it. Uh, oh, uh, hold on. Need to turn on the alerts again. Uh, big ups, uh, Garrido for the super chat. If June the King made a DSP video, he'd call him a liar. He'd probably say that there's some misconceptions in the video. Uh, and... I don't think he would want to react to that one because any documentary that would come out after a certain point would have the champions lore in it because it it kind of has to at this point it's pretty essential it's pretty it's some core lore and uh, DSP wouldn't want to watch those that's why he only only wanted to watch the uh, the down the rabbit hole stuff because that's ancient that's from like 2016 so if June the King pulled out with a new one. That, that wouldn't go well. It really wouldn't. And he wouldn't want to watch it. Uh, but also, I remember back in the day he admitted to asking June the King why he didn't do a DSP uh, documentary. And I guess... Uh, I, I don't remember what the answer was exactly. I think it's because DSP is not that relevant. Or he was just not interested in doing it. Which kind of seems common sense stuff. But I don't really know. Uh, anyways, friend requests from uh, champions. He wants to be your boyfriend, so just just say yeah, dog. Be no. friend requests and shit, but of course these idiots who make the game keep changing the fucking uh, settings. So basically, what happens is these people are still able to send them because they change my settings a million fucking times and keep undoing what I've done. So like, if I try to even do it right now, I don't even know if I'll be able to stop them. It's so dumb. I know I set it up so no one could send it to me, yet they're still sending it to me, you know? Incredibly stupid. I'm trying to look at my settings now. It's loading, so I can't even look. This game's fucking dumb. Again, billion-dollar company made by fucking idiots who don't put basic functionality features into the game. Remove streamer mode, even though streamer mode was in the fucking beta. Remove it. Never put it back in. You know? I, I love this. Uh, even, if, if, even if he's right, right? Even if he's right, 
this is like a full-time gamer, a full-time professional. And, and it's also a guy who complains about not getting sponsorships. Guy, you can't be that toxic and expect to get anybody to want to touch you with a 10-foot pole. You, you just can't do that. You can't. Disabled friend. Even if it's true, even if they were stupid and they removed that feature that was useful, even if that's true, you, you, you just can't be that toxic. Request. Now all of a sudden they're sending friend requests again. And how do I stop it? I don't know because I can't find the option anymore. They probably removed the option too. Yeah, it's just asinine. It is. The game company is fucking pathetic. And they're the, one of the most, uh, you know, money making companies for the shit that they pump out every year, the trash that they fucking literally pump out every year. So, here, I'm trying to look. I don't even know. Quick settings? No. This is bro brightness and mount sensitivity. Yeah, there's nothing here. Look, graphics aren't going to do nothing. Nope. It's just stupidity. This is just stupidity. Literally nothing. Yeah, I see nothing about... This, uh, it also reminds me when, when he played uh, World of Warcraft. He was having like two or three trolls just sitting next to him the entire time and sending him friend requests. And that ruined his gameplay. And he tried to like push through it and power through it and play the game despite of that. And it was some of the funniest shit I've ever seen. Because there was like actively two or three other dudes that were just following him along all the time. It was so funny option yeah they seriously did it's gone <laughs> the whole thing we used to be able to turn it off and say oh people can't send friend requests they removed the whole option it's completely missing i just looked in the menus it's not even there so why do you think why do you think that uh that they're doing it now because they must have found out that the idiots removed it they must have patched the game since it's launched and removed this fucking option right it's just stupidity you guys are fucking idiots i can't take how bad these game developers are and how rich they are for the shit that they put out every year. It's just pathetic. Avoid the gas. Get to the zone. Okay. Jared, I have no idea what you're talking about. Just go to Xbox options. What Xbox options? In in Xbox itself? Is there Xbox options in the game? What are you talking about? <laughs> Why would I need to go to Xbox options to, the, to disable the ability for someone to send me a friend request in the game? It doesn't even make sense. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was scary. And no, there's no way to block friend requests apparently. From what I'm seeing, there's no way to block a friend request in this game. See, like, if I go on this, I'll use the... Just accept them. They could just do it again. But uh, I guess if they accepted them, they could keep inviting him to a party or something, probably. To my knowledge, there's no way to block anyone in this because they fucked the whole thing up. Like I said, originally, in the beta, you could block everything. And you could turn on streamer mode. So that no one could send a friend request and you wouldn't even see anyone. Yeah, he always has an obsession with uh, with money and how much money everybody is making. And if they're making a lot of money and he doesn't like what they're doing, they're fucking idiots. And he's going to keep mentioning how much money they make. Games. Then they changed it and took away streamer mode, but you could still block the friend request. Now you can't even block the friend request. It's like the longer the game's been out, the worse they've made it. <laughs> like they just remove feature after feature. It's just asinine and stupid. Like, how dumb can you fucking be? Just keep making your game worse progressively. We're not supposed to notice. Yeah, so if anyone actually knows how to disable friend requests in this game, let me know. If not, don't waste my time because... <laughs> if not, don't waste my time. Nothing there. Have you tried appearing offline? So there's no way to do it from what I can see. Um, You know, and every menu, unless it's a, in a menu within a menu within a menu somewhere, I don't see it. Yes, I mean, seriously, so far, three straight updates on this game, everyone... Have you tried um, eating a burger? Burger. The game seems to be worse, right? Really? Like, they, why are they... Re why would they remove features? I have to ask this question. The beta had streamer mode. The final game does not. Then, the first version of the game had the ability to block friend requests. Then they updated it, and they removed it. Why did you remove that? I told you to not remove it. Settings, account and network, under account. <laughs> you did not listen to me. Account settings, from request to party invite <laughs> off. All right, I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to land, and I'm going to look at that. And by the way, I don't even think... Hey, big ups Klaus Mystery for 10 months, dude. That's a long time. To drop down and kill the guy that... 10 months ago, he was still... Um, he was still begging. But he hadn't embraced it yet. Fuck it. I'm going to lose this match. So what is it? 
And now he embraced it. Now he's a born again beggar. <laughs> Look, it doesn't even exist. Account and network. Okay, I'm gonna hide this so that way you guys don't accidentally see a setting. Okay, I go account and network. So you don't accidentally see a setting. What can he show us? His IP? Settings. There's no account setting. Hey, big ups, uh, Black Mage, for becoming a member, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's blocked players and network. You are uh, officially becoming a boyfriend. I need my boyfriend. Info, text chat, and dismemberment. That's it. There's four options. So right, right, right away, what you're saying doesn't exist in the. I would like to turn on the the dismemberment option on DSP. And there's nothing I can do about it. And trigger it immediately. <laughs> oh, that's toxic. Yep. It's text chat, profanity filter, dismemberment, and gore effects. That's it. So, yup, I knew it. Like I said, it doesn't exist. The option doesn't exist to stop it. <laughs> the, the option is not there. Oh, they can just get meleeed. <laughs> Maybe you could do it from the main menu. Yeah, let's just, uh, have you tried to stop playing the game? Maybe you actually have to do it from this menu and you can't do it in a game. Keep in mind, again, all this was done before I ever played this fucking game. I had it all set up, and we were playing it for a month with no issue. And then they update the game, and the whole game's fucked up. So, account network. Uh, what you're saying still isn't here. There's more. There's Activision account, two-factor authorization, blocked players. It lets me change my display name. Network <laughs> yeah, that worked in WWE Champions, though. That worked. That definitely worked. Nobody could figure out that the gun show 84 and down from the rafters is also Phil. They couldn't figure it out. So you should try changing your display name. Text chat. Dis he could have figured it out by now. Or at least figured out why they removed it. If he decided to just pull out his phone, you know, you, the, the device he uses to play mobile games and open up the browser. You know, the place he goes to watch porn and look it up. Remember Mint and Gore, credits and utilize this agreement, terms of use and privacy policy. That's literally fucking it. There's nothing whatsoever about accepting or denying friend requests in this game. It looks like they've completely removed it because they are a bunch of fucking nitwits. I'm looking everywhere. Now I'm looking in interface, subtitles, minimap, Crosshairs, damage, player names, I set to icon only, server latency I just turned on, okay, connection meter on. Now he figured it out eventually. It was some secret menu that they didn't even told you, uh, they didn't even tell you it was a thing that exists. And he figured it out eventually. So it, it all went well, eventually. But first he had to complain about it for like 15 minutes. There's literally nothing. I'm not shitting you, there's nothing here. They removed it all. These guys are fucking nitwits who made this fucking game. <laughs> how do you fucking... How dumb can you be to make a game and make it so that anyone could just spam anyone with shit and there's no way to stop it? I mean, you have to be a dunce level game developer. And this is a billion dollar fucking company. Billion fucking dollar company removed the ability to stop someone from fucking spamming. How dumb can you fucking be? I just can't get over it. I can't. Abella, I don't know who you are. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, Astrodot, I'm telling you. Well, you're reading it. You're probably watching someone, first of all, on the PC version, which is completely different from the console version. And on top of that... <laughs> he knows everything, dude. The moment you send him some, some kind of a suggestion, he already knows how he's going to shoot it down immediately. He already knows it sucks and it, that is stupid. Yes, every time they patch this, they change it. Yeah, Derek, I know everything, something always goes wrong, but it's just a shame when these people, again, billion dollar company. This is billion profitable video game company on the planet Earth, and they don't understand basic functionality of an online game. If they don't, how would anyone else? You know what I'm saying? Like, if they don't get it, who would? <laughs> and they don't. They're actually this stupid. Bill, um, I hate to break it to you, but things that make a lot of money are not always of high quality. They just sell well because of probably some other reasons. Like they're literally—they're not always the best. This dumb. 
I, especially I, in gaming say. how dumb they could be right like like holy fuck because um i might you might want an example well Philip Burnell, you might have heard of this guy. He goes by the name Darkside Phil. Uh, he makes over a hundred thousand dollars a year. And my God, you don't want to see a stream. You might look at it and like, how does this guy make a hundred thousand dollars a year with this product? If someone should know about how to run a stream, it should be this guy who's been doing it for fifteen years. I can't. So there we go, fighting fire with fire. And then we all get gout and we all die. Believe that that's stupid. Yeah, I don't I don't see a way to change any of this. I'm looking, I don't see it anywhere. We should uh, we should gaslight him into thinking that gout is terminal. Somebody should make a, a fake research and publish it online because people can do that. That that uh, makes it seem like you can actually die from gout. And we can gaslight him into thinking that you can die from gout. And then he's gonna be going crazy. I, I'm all up for, for gaslighting him into all kinds of stuff. I love gaslighting DSP. Not that I've done it, but I, I like when when he gets super delusional about something. My man, my, my channel might get deleted. I better change the names of the bounties to challenges. If you press start and go to a bell icon, okay? And hit right trigger, you can probably mute notifications. Okay. Snooze all notifications. Off one hour until tomorrow. Oh my god. Challenges I want on. Apparently there's a ma menu you can manually turn everything off. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. Hey, there we go. Apparently you can actually do the thing that he was calling people idiots and dimwits and nitwits for like 10 minutes. Apparently there's a thing that, that makes it so you can do exactly what he wants to do. Thank you, Romy Rowe. So you can't stop people from spamming you, but you can make it so that notifications won't pop up on your screen. That's just genius. Don't say it. Don't say I don't want friend requests. Say, oh, just don't show me when I get your 400 spammed friend requests. I mean, that's just okay. Crazy. I mean, isn't that basically the same? If something happens and you you don't get to see it, you don't know it happened. Does it even happen? If DSP has a begging segment and nobody has a have a clip of it, does it even happen? Did the, did he beg? I don't know, man. I wouldn't I wouldn't say he begged. He didn't beg. <laughs> uh, so let's see what what this is about. He's begging on the oh, blaming lag. Of course, blaming lag. Arkham, I did not block you. I can still see you, but I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you enough for the super chats, by the way. I appreciate that. Guys, we're now heading into the second hour of the stream. I will be here for, for about another hour. <clears throat> So if anyone uh, would like to, you know, support the stream in any way, it's appreciated. A simple like on the stream would help. If we had 100 likes, I'll do a silly bubble blow. And a silly bubble blow. blow. So thank you to anyone. <laughs> I love the silly bubble blow. And it he helps the engagement a lot. Guy, the engagement is down. I am looking at your channel. I am live from DSP... How did he call it? Uh, Burnell Productions. I'm live from the headquarters, and I'm looking at a dumpster fire. This this is terrible. This is ass. This is pure ass. Not even a diaper. Just ass. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, but in addition, anything else? Super chats, super stickers, memberships, gifted memberships, tips, all appreciated. Tonight is the final night to try to hit the tier Phil's 2 was the uh, kid members goal. Considering we've got zero new members, I don't think we're hitting it. I'm just saying. I don't think that's hey, it. Hey, big up Um, Yeah, I don't know what I can say about this. I don't think he... <laughs> I don't think he tortured animals for fun. It was, uh, he did it because he had to. He had to. And Jasper is next. Jasper? Don't make me pull out the water bottle. Thing. And, quite frankly, it doesn't look like we're, I'm going to be doing very well tonight, performance-wise, either, because of the lag. So I hope that you're at least enjoying the stream, and maybe you... Oh, yeah, it's the lag. If you could, I would appreciate that. Take a look at the latency right now. Now we're up to 100 milliseconds. 100 is... is I mean, it's, it's not great, but it's not disastrous. 
Uh, but everything is disastrous for DSP. He's DSP. So now, I have to make an executive decision. Are we going to watch the Secret Limited thing? Are we going to watch the... Something else that happened? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, did I watch yesterday's pre-stream? I didn't watch that. Uh, it's probably stupid, though. So let's go watch the secret video. I've made it, um, yeah, pretty much. I've, I've watched it before, but there's a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of recap stuff. So uh, get your boyfriends and let's let's start it. Let's go. Burger. Greetings, you lovely lot. The top 10 only comes once a year. The amount of dark side goodness throughout the year has been overwhelming. Uh, no, I'm not going to be reporting DSP for using uh, Super Bowl for his event because I, I don't think anything's going to come out of this. I think this is just kind of grasping at straws. It's tough to come up with a top 10 list this year. So let's change that. This is the top 11 worst DSP gaming tweet. Yeah, top 11. Because top 10 is not enough. We need even like uh, dishonorable mentions, which if you watched our tier list on uh, that being said, there are plenty of them. I think I came up with 26 moments in total, which is, is still a lot. And I didn't, uh, I, I didn't get all of them. There was still a lot more that we could have gone for. And we didn't get to rank all of them. So yeah, that there's a ton of moments last year. He was completely unleashed. Speaking of unleashed, uh, unleashed Jenna is uh, is not trending yet, but has to be trending and must be trending. Uh, so let's make it trending. Let's uh, unleash Jenna from the chains that are holding her. And uh, yeah, let's make her free again. Make it trending on all social medias, or else uh, I don't know something, but. She is the throat goat, so we gotta let her free. Someone called me the throat goat. I'm totally psyched for what we're going to endure. After months of preparation, I really hope you will enjoy this year's worst moment. Uh, yeah, we did the tier list on the Christmas episode, which was on, I don't know, I think the 28th of December. It was with uh, Darkseed to Phil, so you can go look it up. I forgot how it's called, but you can you can find it pretty easy. If you do, please give the video a like. And don't be a stranger danger, be a longtime subscriber. Share the love worldwide. And finally, let's begin. At number 11, we start off with a bit of bad news. I used to be part of the competitive Street Fighter community. I was an asshole. Oh, oh, this one is great. And I love that this is at number 11. I left a comment also under uh, King Sly's video watching this, which is also a great reaction. You can go watch it. They have much better microphones than I have. So you should go check that out. Um, yeah, this uh, is a great supercut of him being toxic as fuck. And it's fantastic for everybody who is not fully committed to watching this whole video so they can get an impression of how much of a piece of shit he actually is without even having to, to watch the whole thing. If you're like a casual guy, you don't even know about DSP and you're like, oh, what is this video about DSP that got like 200,000 views and you check it out within the first like 20 minutes, you're going to see what kind of a piece of shit he is. Unfortunately, the king of hate is dead. Hey y'all, it's Brittany. How's it going today? Hope everyone is doing well. So I'm back with a new episode of my series, This is How Not to Run a Business, 
In this series, I like to analyze business decisions of various content creators across various platforms to see what they're doing incorrectly. So if you want to start your own content creation journey or maybe you want to start your own business, you know what not to do so you can be successful. In this series, I examine DSP Gaming, also known as Darkside Phil's business decisions for his content creation career. And I point out how these business decisions have hurt him financially and hurt his business overall. When I hear the king of hate, I don't think of positive things. I think of actually very negative things and I don't want to be around you. And the king of hate moniker originated not because I was a hateful person and I was a dick and I'm the king of that. It was because so many people hated on me saying that I wasn't good enough. I wasn't ever going to be a, a tournament level player. I was just a scrub. Yeah, no, no, an asshole, no. Piece of garbage. To some extent, a lot of that was true because I was an asshole for sure. I would use that hatred thrown against me to motivate myself <laughs> to continue to play and get better at the games until I could actually become a tournament winner. He's talking about it like he was like LeBron James and people were hating on him because he was just too good. He was just an asshole. And you're gonna see. You're gonna see. And I did. The real reason for the hate is because people just have massive disrespect. Where am I playing? You still haven't told me. Treat you like you Want me to run the f for you? You ever get on this show sober? Yo, this was great. This is fantastic. Hey, big ups, uh, Ricky Spanglish for the membership, dude. You talk about me, I will find you, I will cut your f off, and I'll shove them down your f Someone recorded it back. You need help. I carried over. <laughs> This was a such a great call with uh, with Boonke. Uh, we had him on that being said as well to elaborate a little bit more on that. But you can find the call on YouTube as well. He was such a tough guy. He was so tough. It's impossibly, impossibly tough. There's nobody as tough as him on that call. Nobody even since there has been that tough. Big ups uh, Bilotti for 10 mo uh, months, dude. That persona from the Street Fighter community to, to my content creation on YouTube. The King of Hate was ingrained into all of my content. The old, the King of Hate vlogs, my vlogging channel is called the King of Hate vlogs, right? <clears throat> right. For Phil, his search engine optimization is not very good. His search rankings, when you search uh, for his name, be it DSP Gaming or Dark Side Phil, comes with a lot of bad press. No, I can't partner with anyone, no matter no matter who I would want to partner with or who would want to sponsor me, the trolls will harass them and then I'll, I'll basically lose the sponsorship, you know? And like I said, with Dark Side Phil, it, it, immediately bad articles are coming up. So you have potential sponsors and even visitors and potential customers who are like, I don't know if I want to do business with this guy. I don't know if I want to buy anything or even watch him on YouTube because he has a bad reputation. So. Shut the f up trying to spread misinformation. That's not what happened, okay? Ugh, I wanna watch some f insult some home. You go on YouTube. I can't, dude, they're still there. Two f seriously. Two little f sitting there. Meh. <laughs> with the censorship, it gets much better. It's so much better with the censorship on. And then they'll cite examples out of context. Things that I did 10 years ago or more that I don't do anymore in my content. And they'll say, you see, this is who Phil is. He's a terrible, hateful, awful person. How could he be successful? Yes, they just went in and presented the data to the companies. But you did it first. You created all that. The king of hate, when you hear that name, it is not good. It does not bring up, hmm, that sounds like a person I want to get to know. No, it sounds like a person that might hate you, that might be a bad person. It brings up negative connotations. And in branding, that's very, very poor. That's very bad. You don't want to do that. Again, all last year I was scratching my head. Why would I be kicked out of the Twitch partner program? Why would Teespring just close my fucking merch account out of nowhere? That was really the kicker for me was the Teespring one. Because that one, I had been working with Teespring for so many years. I had all this merch on there that was never an, an issue. And all of a sudden, overnight, they decide you, your, your account is a violation or something, so we're just closing your account. And then they wouldn't even talk to me about it. 
If I saw a person wearing this shirt that says, you know, hate and DSP and dark side feel, YouTube and Twitch, you maybe start thinking like, okay, what? When, when Twitch told me that I was actually kicked out of the partner program for what was it, hateful slurs or speech, they were actually talking about the shit from 2010. I'm not kidding. Ah, oh, in the last remaining must exterminate them. Hello. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, the censorship is so good. Baby racist, a cuppy's not gonna deal with you. But if you actually make. He could have said hello, anything. Anything. Hello, insert slur here. A brand a, around hate, and you say you're the king of it. What do you think these companies are going to do? T today, you know, things have changed. I'm not like that anymore. I don't want to be like that anymore. I've, I've grown. I've wisened. You know, I I'm an older, smarter guy. And then push it to the internet like that for drama. Fuck him. He's a piece of shit. About the games that they put out. And I hate to say it, it's a xenophobia about games not made in Japan. All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling a ride off for profits. Twitch TV, Teespring, which is now called Spring, Streamlabs, <laughs> and the like. Any company that treated me like dirt in 2021 because you're just ignorantly stupid, goodbye. You guys are fucking dumb as shit because you actually believe a bunch of bullshit conspiracy theory nonsense <laughs> on the fucking internet. Dude, the fucking edit, the edit is so good, man. You're dumb. You're dumb. Who the fuck would want to deal with those companies, right? Really, who would want to deal with someone who's that gullible and dumb and ignorant? T today, you know, things have changed. I'm not like that anymore. I don't want to be like that anymore. I've, I've grown, I've wisened, you know. I I'm an older, smarter guy. Now you're realizing Oh man, what I did in the past? Yeah, that could really do damage in the future. And again, there's no statute of limitations on it. Do I even use the King of Hate moniker? No! When do I even reference it or talk about it? Like, never. The only time it ever comes up is when we're doing one of these legacy references. Like, oh, the King of Hate vlog. Should <laughs> the legacy <laughs> references. <laughs> when you say the N-word, it's a legacy reference. Shit like that. <laughs> Do not refer to yourself ever again as the king of hate. I've already explained why. Don't. Anything that says king of hate, get rid of it. T-shirts, I don't care. Web designs, I don't care. Get rid of it. It is not good for you and your brand. He should have just done exactly the opposite and just call himself the king of positivity. And then change all of his merch into being like the king of positivity. And like hearts and just like rainbow flags and stuff like that all over the shirts would have just designs of positivity, smiley faces, and, and just like fire emojis. So ladies and gentlemen, I am retiring the moniker of the King of Hate. The King of Hate.com is no more. DSPGaming.com which is exactly the same as the old website, except I changed the domain name. You kind of have to make changes. To hey, yo, 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 wait, 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 wait. What was this? What was this? DSP Space Gaming? What? This is what the trolls say. Is this a troll site? Did, did the trolls make this? DSP Space Gaming? The old website, except I changed the domain name. No. You have to make changes to move towards that more positive movement. You know what I'm saying? positive movement and i make all of my content now over on the youtube channel dsp gaming there's nothing else that i put on this channel and let's be honest this channel has definitely fallen into disrepair it's dusty on, around here like look subs have dwindled views are are dwindling like crazy like in the year of 2021 i went from getting thousands and thousands of views on each video on this channel down to like only a thousand okay I have decided to rebrand, okay? And it is with a heavy heart that I have to say that it's time to go from this- With a heavy heart because he missed being the king of hate? All right. <laughs> but for all intents and purposes- uh, It's so good, man. The rebrand saga was so fun. I am officially retiring the king of hate moniker, and therefore, I'm officially retiring 
the King of Hate Vlogs channel. Thank you all so very much for all of your support. I'll see you next time. Bruh. He rebranded so hard that he didn't even bother to change his uh, banner that said <laughs> King of Hate Vlogs. <laughs> That's how you do a rebrand. This is how you do rebrand. If you think the hate is dead, think no more. It's number 10. There we go. The hate is back. That was just a false finish. So how can you possibly say what you just said? You can't. You're a f idiot. You're a moron. You're a mouth drooler. You're a f troglodyte. You need to shut the f up and stick to your own personal circles of bull because no one cares about what you're saying. It's bullshit. We're not dumb. <laughs> Especially, dude, with the with the, with the Elden Ring hat on, this segment is just aged like like milk. Aged like DSP, basically. There's no hate without fire. Primal rage. But these idiots make a name up for themselves, basically making shit up about me. And if you're dumb enough and ignorant enough to listen to that shit, and then come to my stream and spout it, what are you, dumb? Yes, you are dumb. You're a grade-A moron. You are actually a mouth-drooling fucking idiot to come on here and repeat lies about me that aren't true, okay? Like what, like you being toxic? No, let's just call him a mouth-drooler, uh, mouth-drooling idiot. I I'm not being fucking toxic, you piece of shit. This is like that classic segment of uh, when he got uh, unpartnered from Twitch. What hateful slurs, you lame braid pieces of dumb fucking shit? What hateful slurs? Bruh. I literally just explained to you that I like your suggestion, but there's no way that I can do it. And then you tell me I ignored your suggestion. So you know what? You can just get timed out because you're... No, really, you're fucking... <laughs> you're getting easily banned, bro. Easily banned. Okay. And I'm tired of you acting like this. It's a factually wrong statement. You don't get to just come here and make shit up about me on my stream. You're out of here. So Snow Carl is here. He's tipped me a dollar. He says, everyone loved your Elden Ring videos because you weren't pussyfooting around and challenged yourself. You're playing on easy. As That's bait. Watch his God of War. That is bait. No, because I'm not playing on easy. And if you ever say that shit again, which is blatant misrepresentation of the facts, I am going to treat you appropriately. Easily banned. It's not on fucking easy. And if you say it one more fucking time and you lie to my audience, you will be permanently banned from the chat. The game is not on easy, you stupid piece of shit dunce who wants to discredit anyone who plays the game on normal. It's on normal. Deal with it. If you don't like it, off and don't come back. I'm never going to put up with that ever again. Every person who says it's on easy is just gone for good. I'm tired of it. Literally three fucking things you said, you dumb fuck, are not true. So now I counterpoint you. Oh, I never said that. F off. I saw what I meant. No, I don't care what you meant then. You said what you said. You're a moron. But this is what the people on the internet do to do to me. They make sh up. They say Phil's doing this. It missed again. The sword missed again. It did. It missed again. He's right in front of me. He's right the fuck there. It missed again! This is complete shit! When do I ever even rage quit games? Really, when does that ever happen? Hey, we got Kirby Souls. Big ups Kirby this Souls. Terrible! It's fantastic. I can't, this is garbage. It's, it's literally... Dude, it's literally Dark Souls. And now that's it. Instant dead. I give up. Fuck this. I'm done. It's literally Dark Souls. <laughs> This game for kids, it's literally Dark Souls, dude. If Jade wasn't so regarded, he'd understand that being a mouth drooler is an insult about him. Yeah, Jade, um, yeah, that kind of went over his head. But it's easy, things go over your head when you... Never mind. Never mind. Oh! Never mind. All headshots, Don't. you could see the crosshair was directly on the guy's head above the cover. F you, Infinity Ward, you pathetic excuse for a game development team. You guys f***ing suck sh What a joke. There's people saying things like, oh, you're a cross-dresser now and stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
big? <laughs> yes. Uh, not, not, not just because. Because you're cross-dressing. Come on. Well, you think it's funny to say that. It's not. He says, suggestions on what games to play. I think you should... <laughs> But that, that that bit was gold. It just cuts to him in a full-on female attire. Oh, you're saying I'm a crossdresser? Yes, that's exactly what they're saying, because you are. You need help! Games like Sonic or a princess game. Ah! Sonic or a princess game. All right, Snow Carl, thanks for nothing. Thanks for the $2 and nonsense, and I'm not even answering your dumb shit. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I'm just going to say thanks for the dollar tip and never read your message ever again because you're an idiot. If you buy into any of this bullshit that these idiots put on the internet, you are dumb. You're literally just brain dead idiotic. Stop it. Stop right now. Can't do anything. Wow, yes. Right. Can't do anything. Shut the f up about the f bubbles before I take away the bubbles forever. People being a little in the chat. I'm trying to learn how to play a game. Shut the up and act older than five. <laughs> it's fantastic, man. Damn, how stupid and young can you be? This is what I mean. Even if you made it 15 minutes into this video, you would know that he's like profoundly toxic. He's just a, he's just simply a bad person. That's, that's all you got to say about him. He's just a bad fucking person. But shut the fuck up about the bubbles, or I'm gonna take them away. That Ken Masters like cosplay it. looks shut more up. like a freaking anime bubble, trap than bubble. Ken Emo. Hey, big ups, uh, Fiery Paper Mario. That that wig is actually a '90s rock star wig, and uh, we know this because he pulled the uh, the packaging out of the trash and he showed it to the camera, and it looked nothing like the way it looked on him. So yeah, there there you go. It's not a female wig. It's a male wig. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Every fucking other word. Out of the people in the chat. Bubbles, bubbles. When I'm trying to learn a game like this, you shut the f*** up. And stop spamming the chat with nonsense. And by the way, they only did it because there's no mod in there right now. Really, I've had enough people complaining about nothing, so you're just all gone. Everyone, I don't even care. People who are going to be here and be a toxic influence on my playthrough, you're not welcome anymore. So... One, two, three. You're a fucking idiot. You're crazy. Who f cares who tips on a streamer's stream? Who gives a f about any of this shit? Nobody cares who One Minute Man is. Even if One Minute Man didn't exist, who cares? <laughs> if he didn't exist, who cares? So even if he was, if Phil was tipping himself, who cares? <laughs> Sure, man. Sure, man. Uh, I, I, I guess nobody cares. Nobody cares. If you are even if the guy who gives me hundreds of dollars a month didn't exist, who cares? People who are up to your ass in that shit, you're the lol cow. You created it. You're the lol cow. It wasn't on my. <laughs> They're laughing at us. <laughs> but he's not laughing though. Streamer, my content. You are the lol cow. You created that community. You made it for yourself. Now you're living in it, and you're stuck in it, because you're nuts. Seek help. Seek help. You need help. You need help. You need Jesus. And uh, one last time, I'm going to play this one, because Snort Hogan is in chat. Snort, man, you getting raped, dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my guy. I, I don't determine the rules. You need to chill out. Relax. <laughs> yeah, this was actually uh, aimed towards Snort Hogan. I got the timestamp too. It's it 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 it, it, it it's something. It, it is something. It, it it is something. It is definitely something. Bruh. Uh, anyways, let's let's keep moving. Actually, just uh, just one last one. Uh, which one? Which one? The Super Snort. <laughs> And enjoy number nine. Let's see what's behind door number nine. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's the horse segment. I love the horse. For person, she's very fun. No, this is this is absolutely savage. This is a this whole segment. The next like five to ten minutes.
absolutely godlike piece of content. It's so ruthless. It's so savage. It's so. It, it's something else, man. I love. I love. I, I, I love the horse. She's very funny, actually, and I love spending time with her off the streams. By anyway. the way, I am real. <clears throat> Just for yes. all the people who don't, who think I don't exist, I am real. <laughs> but I don't think I need to say that, but I'll say it anyway. Last night I'm relaxing with my wife downstairs. Likely Cat is downstairs probably playing some Horizon because tomorrow we'll both be playing Elden Ring. So my wife is playing this too, and she was playing this DLC. My wife is playing on a PS4 downstairs, her PS4 Pro. Like I said, my wife has to work. My wife doesn't just stay at home all day. Yeah, we ordered some pizza from from a, a, a place that does this like pan style pizza, and I actually made us a pizza. Oh, uh, we actually ordered pizza. If you ever acted like normal people, maybe my wife would come back on a stream. We have a beautiful private life together that we keep private on purpose, so that way people can't mess with us in regards to that. Hey, big ups for the membership, uh, Joel L Tractor. This this picture reveal was, uh, it, it was a cinematic moment. But later on, we have one that that got the dudes on on Sly stream. It got them dead, man. Alt was there, Shinko was there, Sly was there. Uh, I don't think they had seen this video before, and it got them. It 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 it, it killed them. It killed them. It's the peak of that stream. Kit Kat Chunky. There has been a cat sighting in the wild. Cat got huge. Jesus, what the fuck happened to cat? All that DoorDash and not going to the gym. <laughs> Can't, I don't have any and everybody it's 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 everybody saying their piece everybody is featured in this one uh but as the time went it seems like the, the tide kind of turned and everyone agrees now that is cat things like with the with like you know certain facial features I think that line up like really well things like the bridge of the nose I think is the one that really like stood out to me mm -hmm. like going into the nose cat looks like she's fucking Ate too many potatoes and Jesus. Sounds like <laughs> she ate too many potatoes, dude. No. That's all day at this point. Oh, has this happened? Look at Jesus. Look at this. That's all neck. This is neck, and that's neck. This the chin's here. The necks. This. What the fuck happened to cat? The picture is actually apparently taken in 2021. And that's what she looks like then. How much bigger has she gotten? One question I had was, why the hell did it take so long for this thing to come up? You guys can see Evolution from 2017. All right, not a bad looking face. 2018. Oh, now we're going to get 2019. a fantastic moment. She's trying to smile, trying to cover up the fact that her cheeks are around her. And then 2021. What the... Uh, but then when you do look at the, the web yeah, and that one together, you can see the kind of jump to me, the, the, the jawline and stuff. It's no surprise that this this got uh, DSP's Jimmy's uh, rustled. Because this, with, with the, the morphing in between the photos, this is some savagery, man. This is savage. This was over a year ago. This was taking this picture. Imagine the fucking size of him now. It was a spe well, special horror we've seen, but obviously fucking every day. Imagine the size of her now. Some guy I know on Discord, we were randomly talking about DSP. He's like, yeah, I took this picture of him. Like, and it looked like that dude worked at the gas station from where, from the angle that it was taken at. It was like he was coming out of like, like a thing that, like an employee's only thing. Like, mm -hmm. if you look at the angle from where the picture was taken, right? This photo was taken the day he got de-partnered. On that day, he was wearing that same shirt. That's a good spot. But I, I think on the... Uh, he would be out on his day off? Hmm, that's very suspicious. 
Because the day he got the partner was his day streaming, right? I don't know. Never mind. When stationary, negative 75% damage. That's really bad. Hateful slurs or symbols. I didn't do a hateful slur or symbol. Also, this this wasn't when he got departed. This was when he got suspended for saying the the stationary segment. It never happened. Yeah, it's going great when a photo from last year on the day of the the departing surface, and that's the only photo we have. Oh, okay. So it might actually be this. If he mentioned that he went out with Cat on that day, it might actually be this. That is a lot of DoorDash. Jasper is the second in the line. Jasper gets. Oh, yo, we got a, we, yo, we got a feature. Yo, Mr. White. Wait, what happened to Dog? Why is it not playing? My soundboard died. Uh, I don't know. Something is happening. Very suspicious here. That's food. Why are you giving that cat? Sliced chicken, and your wife has to eat uh, Burger King. Wait, wait. This is the wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. This was the guy who he doesn't like talking shit about people's wives. What happened? It's almost like he was a different person back then. He didn't say sorry to Jesus. How we know it's definitely cat is Phil has dropped the uh, ignore it mm -hmm. uh, ops. Mm -hmm. Ignore it ops mean whatever he's talking about is 100 percent true. That's just that it goes from throughout Phil history. When he says ignore it, that means it's true. Kyle Denson did a super chat, and now he's talking about. Okay, soundboard is back. Troll drama. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. I'll never care. Big ups to any stationary urbans in chat. Hey, big ups to all the dogs. Dog. Damn. Stop wasting my time with it. Big ups, uh, Black Mage. I give two shits about it, and I'm gonna ignore it. Thank you. Nobody cares. Nobody should care. So yeah, we got the ignore it segment. So. That's that's how you handle that shit. You just ignore it. Ignore morons on the internet. They don't exist. They're fucking waste of life. So I don't care what they're doing. Okay. <clears throat> Phil is the most awkward relationship ever, at least from Phil's side. We don't haven't seen Cat for years now. Cat really let herself go. I'm mean, like, you're dealing with the most insufferable man on fucking earth here. I was gonna rescue that bitch. Oh no! My sister's face is beautiful. No, no, this aged very badly. Hashtag unleash Jenna. But she doesn't know how to fuck Let's do a little bit of slacktivism. We're not paying her bail. We're not the, the whale bail crowd, but, uh, you know, do some slacktivism. Make some hashtags. Let's pretend like we're trying to do something. More than what her actual sister is trying to do. Anyways. You can do makeup. Like, she don't know how to do eyeliner. And, like, you can just tell that because of the way she eats, whatever her diet is, she has so much fucking, like, inflammation. Like, her cheeks are so fucking puffy and nasty looking i'm sorry that's my sister but me, me and my sister we both have high functioning autism asperger's she gets taken to a home with the perfect home with the perfect conditions for her plenty of love plenty of compassion and she ends up marrying a child no like dead ass she, me her and i were best friends growing up we got separated i don't know what the fuck happened to her I'm actually pretty surprised the the Asperger's thing isn't a, a bigger talking point. Kind of goes under the radar a lot of the times. When people are like, why is Kat still there? Why hasn't she just packed up and left when she realized the DSP is a, is a big ol' idiot? You would think Kat eats like a horse. Oh! That was just uh, the, the cherry on top. And Kat ate the cherry too. And DSP drank the juice. Let's move on to number eight. All right, I don't like talking about this. I don't. Would you let Officer Sanders knee on your back? Look, me and Officer Sanders are only interacting from behind a hazmat suit. I am not getting close. Uh, I'm just uh, doing some slacktivism to get her free because I believe she should be. Because everyone should be free. But that's that's enough. I'm not doing the, the Kiwi Farms guy method of um, giving her a bath. And... You know, bed, bath, and beyond. And I don't want to talk about it all fucking day, but I don't like people laughing. It's not funny at all. You're a piece of shit if you think that someone who has to live 
day-to-day on tips and shit is funny. Oh, so hilarious that this guy has stuff financially tight. Ha 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 ha. No, it's not fucking funny. Now shut up. We've got him. Caught you red-handed. Yo, this is the this is the Reddit saga. This is gonna be great. We got some nonsense going on in regards to Reddit. I'm incredibly grateful for the overwhelming support in the last 24 hours with these gifted memberships. Seriously, 100 memberships in 24 hours. So there's a part that they have called live stream fails. And what they try to do is take live streams of people or clips of live streams of people and make fun of them. I found out about it because a moderator alerted me to it. However, I do have to emphasize something, all right? Tips are very important to me and my business, and here's why. Tips are the liquidity of my business. And what I mean by that is that's the cash flow that I get that I can use to spend on things on a daily basis. Yeah, a lot of those comments were just great. Just just very, very good. From people that are not really into that, they probably have heard of him before because of his antics, and then they completely forgot like 90% of people that know about DSP. And then one day they're like, wait, DSP is begging hard? Wow, I can't believe this dude is still streaming and getting money, laughing my ass off. Why are you laughing? Answer me this. Why are you laughing? There's nothing funny that he said. He's not a comedian. Laughing my ass off. What are you laughing at? Dude, I, I have no idea, honestly. Why are you laughing? But if everyone says, oh, we want to do a gift of membership, but, but people stop tipping, I have no liquidity. I have no cash to spend. You see? He has no liquidity. He's going to get dehydrated. All I did is I basically did a explanation of this on my pre-stream podcast a couple days ago. All right? I was trying to be as transparent as, as with you guys as possible. I certainly wasn't asking for anything above and beyond what people would normally support. Okay? If I need to buy... But that's the thing, man. The thing that he's already asking for, his tips goal, it already is above and beyond. It's it's insane to have a tips goal like this. For a stream this bad, of a YouTuber this small. It's just crazy. So by default, you're asking for above and beyond. And you still get it. And when you don't get it, you're cranky. Go figure why people are upset. A new game today, tips pay for it. If I need to buy something for the business, tips pay for it. Bills and stuff behind the scenes, generally tips pay for that. Um, I'm the, the Nintendo Online that I'm going to get on the Switch, tips are going to pay for that. Okay? Um, coming up, my day off on Tuesday. Tips. Shopping, tip. Tips. If I have a meal with my wife. My wife, okay, tips. See, you tips see? Very important. So, all I was saying was, hey guys, please don't forget about tipping because it is important to me in the business to get some tips. I wasn't saying, oh, wow, you guys all gifted memberships and you really screwed up. I'm so ungrateful. How dare you? I wasn't saying that. And yes, somebody pointed out the obvious. With tips, he gets access to the, the mobile game. Here's what happened. And this has a lot of upvotes. So for him, you know, oh, so many people bought into the stupid conspiracy. Redditors decide... Redditors. Wow, if we do this a certain way, and we don't actually show it in context, but if we clip something out of context and we put it on Reddit's live stream fails, we can make Darkseid Phil look like an asshole yet again. Laughing this my ass off. All the time. Take shit out of context, take one piece of what I said, spin it like something it's not, act like I'm an asshole. But I hope that that doesn't mean that people are going to forego tipping because that would put me in a bad situation. And in particular, in particular, and I don't know why you guys, okay, why are you laughing? Laughing my ass off. Laughing my ass off. Laughing out loud. Why are you laughing? Oh, that's a nice one. How does this dude have, still have subscribers, let alone any views, let alone $150 a day goal? Podcast. And what ended up happening was, because Reddit is a popular place where people have these internet discussions, the viewership started to skyrocket, okay? 1,000 views, 2,000 views, 4,000 views, 8,000 views. As of this morning, 
That video has 25,000 views on it. Now, do you think these were positive people that came to watch my pre-stream podcast? They're watching a section of Reddit called Livestream Fails. They're there just to shit on people. So, of course, they come over, and what are they trying to do? Leave negative comments on the video, which is completely fucking stupid because you can't just leave comments on my videos. <laughs> it's stupid. I monitor my comments. You can't even leave comments on my videos. It's so stupid. I'm just gonna stop the well, they just thought that you're like any other channel that doesn't do that, and they could just leave a comment, you know? But I, I guess not. I guess they were stupid for thinking that. They were stupid for having common sense. Those fucking idiots. Fucking stream right now. Why? What are you laughing at? Let's hear what's so hilarious. I'm being honest with you guys, and people want to say, "Oh, I'm laughing my ass off." What's so fucking funny? I would like an answer, because if you think that me being honest with you is funny, that's fucked up. What's wrong with you? He's a textbook example of a narcissist. Yeah, he's not even a cool narcissist. He's a lame narcissist. And I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. Dozens of idiots come onto this video to shit. Darkside Phil is a scumbag piece of crap who wants money and blah, blah, blah. Ha ha. Facts. Man, stupid idiot. And oh, they got banned. Because these idiots kept trying to do it overnight. They're so dumb. They, it says right there when you try to leave your comment that there's an approval system, but they're too dumb to understand it. They're too and dumb. By the way, the aggregate well, it doesn't, it, it doesn't take a long time to leave a comment saying, DSP, you're a piece of shit. It doesn't take a long time. And he had to sit there and, and sit through them and approve the positive ones. That say, Phil, I'm, I'm really sad you didn't get the tips goal, man. I feel really bad for you. ...views that this video has gained has helped me. When I get any video with views, it doesn't matter the reason for the view. A view is a view. It helps this channel, okay? <clears throat> so they all came over in droves to try to shit on me. They failed epically. Because it doesn't matter if you download a video, no one sees that anymore. It yeah, we do see that. We still see that. It doesn't matter if you try to leave a negative comment, it will never show up on my video. You are a moron. I'm telling you, if all I get this, this weekend are memberships, I literally can't afford stuff on Tuesday on my day off, and you're gonna laugh? Oh, it's funny. Oh, it is funny, yeah. It really is. Do something with your family on your day off. Your one day off. For the yeah, man. Everybody knows why it's so funny because you get all this money and you still can't budget and you still get no money for your day off. That's that's just a meme at this point. Of course, it's funny, and it's funny because it's true. It's not funny because somebody made it up. It's funny because this dude is admitting to it. That's what makes it truly funny. It's not a conspiracy that people are thinking, oh, I wonder if Phil's gonna have money for his day off. No, he's just going out and saying, I don't have money for my day off. When you're working full-time six days a week. That's funny, right? Yes. Well, real funny. Laughing my ass off. It's not fucking funny. You're a fucking asshole. Even though what you saw was out of context and you're too dumb to understand that. So all I have to say is thank you, Reddit, for allowing stupid people to come over here and watch my content and helping the channel out. Really? No, I mean it. It helps. Well, this is... I mean, imagine flexing this and getting usually getting up to a thousand views and having to flex this because somebody shat on you rightfully. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty good flex. You should keep going. Because likely, 20-some extra thousand views in a day will actually help this channel. The channel will now be propelled. And yeah, spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. It didn't work. It didn't work. He now makes about... Oh, I actually have his channel pulled up. Uh, he now makes uh, this amount of views a day, which is not great. It really isn't. A podcast that's two days old, that's his premier product nowadays. That's the, the thing that he does best. The podcast created by Phil Burnell. 740 views for two days. Two days. Everybody who wanted to watch this already did. And that's that's where we at. Not even a thousand. And yeah, you see the... the <laughs> <laughs> there are some great videos that got the One Piece playthrough. This shit is humiliating. 148 views. 148 views. Damn. And search results for a day or two. Um, Thanks for being stupid. You know? Keep it up. Keep up the good work, dummies. I don't even know what else to say. Like, there's, You can't be dumber. Fuck this. Yeah, fuck this. Game. Oh, and yeah, there was this as well. 
When he was playing Halo Infinite, he was salty as hell. It's a piece of dog shit, and I, it's a waste of everyone's time. And yeah, he rage quit, and this uh, we go back on. When do you remember me rage quitting? Where there, there we go. There we go. Halo Infinite. That was an actual rage quit and a rage delete. Absolutely refuse to play it at this point. Seriously, it's just a, it's a waste of time. I don't care. Let them talk about me as much as they fucking want. Every single time that someone on Reddit brings me up, it helps me. Uh, I'm gonna pull up his channel again. And this is it, okay? So you didn't get help, my guy. But you actually need help. And you might even need Jesus. You need Jesus. Because nobody can help you at this point. Just Jesus can help him. If he would just stretch his hand from the sky, uh, and in his hand, of course, it's like a bag of money, that's the only thing that would help. Because nobody can help this guy. Nobody. So let them say whatever the fuck they want over there. I don't care. It's a win-win for me. <clears throat> it's a win-win. I guess. Even though he didn't win and he didn't benefit anything, he just made himself look even more like a douchebag. And yeah, that's it. He fell off. Again. Like a date time. And imagine that's the thing that is also pretty crazy that there's all these people talking about him. It, a whole community of people talking about him constantly and making videos about him. One Piece Odyssey, episode 22, 100 views. Like, he's even failing as a lol cow. He's flopping as a lol cow. Damn. He tanked his whole shit. He even tanked the thing that he didn't want to be and ended up becoming naturally. And he's bad at it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> week, go on like a oh, man. My wife. Now. <clears throat> Ideally, sadly, it's not what I want. I want us to have a whole day where we can just do fun stuff together and have a real date day. We don't. Every scumbag on the internet, you know, all the fucking dumb fuck redditors will quote it and say, Look, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. And the fucking idiots have to re illegally restream and rip the video. Ah, oh, look, he did it again. He did it again. Fuck you. Really, fuck you. You don't do anything productive for anyone. You don't do anything good for anyone. You just Sure. All right. Cool. The dumb fuck redditors who get a laugh, having a rough time, ha ha ha, someone needs help right now, ha ha ha, this is funny, live stream fails. No, you, your life fails. You're the one with the miserable life, not the person you're making fun of. Laughing my ass off. Jesus fucking Christ, these people are ass- that's a, that's a good one, it was a uh, no you. You're a lol cow, no you're a lol cow. He showed him. He damn showed him, man. I want more segments like this. I mean, gee, can you be any more of much of a, much of a to someone on the fucking internet that you don't even personally fucking know? Oh, hilarious. And by the way, if you stop watching, I also win. Because I don't have to put up with your drama either. So either keep watching and it helps me, or don't watch and it still helps me. I win in either case. <laughs> Yo, I, I think you could use some people checking out your One Piece playthrough. I think I think you could. I'm gonna go out on a limb, say that you could use some trolls to check out your One Piece playthrough. Maybe he should say the N-word during the, the playthrough, so he could get a couple of extra views. Your stupidity. Maybe they're gonna even post him on Reddit. And people are gonna be like, oh, it's this guy again? Oh, I'm not even gonna bother this time. Thank you for a great day. Have a good night. See you in the morning, and fuck those dumb fucks at Reddit. Thanks a lot for all those views, you stupid idiot. Have a good night, everybody. See you later. And yeah, this is uh, this is him repeating, uh, replying to that post, the real DSP gaming. He was so not offended and unbothered, and was in enjoying everything. Hey, big ups Alex Monty for the ten bomb, dude. That's a lot of bombs. Big ups everybody in chat who got one. And if you didn't, then I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, man. But that's how life works. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. But you all get a, a screengasm worth of emotes that are all custom style emotes. So fantastic, big ups. Uh, so yeah, he replied to his own post. Uh, it got minus 38 karma, just like in real life, he got bad karma. Uh, it said, uh, turning a video that usually gets 500 views into 12k totally didn't help my channel in any way. Keep it up, geniuses of Reddit. Yeah. Uh laughing my ass off. It, it helped him get the bag. Got the bag, got the bag, got the bag. 
And he removed the clip. Okay, so he removed the clip feature on his YouTube channel, so you couldn't clip it directly to his page. You had to get a, a clips channel to clip it. So that's how unbothered he was. That's how unbothered he was. So he made it so people couldn't do that again. That's how much they helped him. They helped him a ton. Bill is getting noticed and the money is rolling in. Here is number seven. But not just send me money so that I can keep doing what I'm doing. I don't agree with that. There's plenty of people who beg for it on Twitch, who beg for it on YouTube. Here's my PayPal account. I'll never, I'm not going to do that unless I'm so fucking destitute, right? But even then, if I was destitute, I would go try to get another job to support this rather than begging you guys for money. That's just how I am, okay? It's like he's laughing all the way to the bank. Over the years, things have changed for two, two major reasons. The first is a very practical one, money. I don't make nearly as much money today as I used to on YouTube. And because of that, I just don't have the ability to pl play every single game. I can't afford them all, okay? Uh, thank you for the tip. And then Cracker Jacks tipped me $30 this morning. So Gary has tipped me $50. He says, this is Gary BKK from last summer. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I just received a $100 tip from I'm Frenzy. That's the first $100 tip I've actually got. Got the bag, got the bag, got the bag. time. Go Team Venture, the only tipper of the night with a $5 tip. Guys, if you like Pokemon, I'm going to ask you for a favor. Please support the streams. The support for this playthrough has been almost non-existent, okay? I don't know why. You're having a good time. What is happening? And you want to see Pokemon continue. What is happening with the stream? Stream is okay, kind of, I think. Oh, is it buffering? I think everything is plugged in properly, so I don't know. It looks fine on this end. Everything is transmitting correctly. Everything looks like it's okay. So, are we back? I think we're back. We should be back. Okay. Let's let's try this one more time. You please support the stream, okay? So, thank you Aaron for your support tonight. I appreciate it. We start All right, let me check out the the YouTube uh, side of things. As some would say, Everything should be fine. There shouldn't be any technical type difficulties. Technical style. Oh no, it says YouTube is not receiving enough enough video. What? What? Hey, big ups Alex Monty for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. My contribution for the business class internet service. Oh, but now you're just making fun of me. <laughs> uh... That's cool. Let's uh, let's just see what's happening. YouTube should be receiving everything correct and nothing wrong. And uh, the bitrate seems like it's okay. It's all green, no dropped frames, zero percent, like actually zero percent. Encoding overloaded. Oh yeah, that's what it says. But I have no idea why. Consider turning down this and this and this and this, or using something else. Okay, yeah, let's. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I will turn down the bitrate a little bit. Maybe I'm just uh, pressing my luck. Okay, if this keeps going, I'll just end it for now. Right, let's put this on. Okay, I think 8,000 should be okay. All right, we should be back. Burger. Burger check. Is the burger coming through on the other side? Burger. 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 It'll all be good. Okay, is Susan still complaining? Uh, the the Wojcicki lady? What was her name? S Susan Wojcicki? Yes. YouTube is not receiving. I think that might be a YouTube issue. Honestly, it's nothing on... There's nothing on my end. I have no idea what's happening. Or uh, is it the emotes? I'm going to turn them off for now. 
Might be the emotes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Burger. 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 Burger check? Should be good, dude. Burger. 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 Hey, the burger's coming through. Okay. Chat can hear the burger. <laughs> we, we got the burger to come out. <laughs> The burger combo came out. So the audio is good. Video, there's no video right now, so... This should be good. Yeah, I think I, it, I think it might be the, the emotes. And when it spams them, it, something happens somewhere. Like, I don't know, some server in, in, like, South Korea gets, like, maxed out or something. Who knows? Maybe it's, uh... Maybe... Uh, what if I did nothing wrong and I did everything correct? And it's the billion-dollar company that screwed things up. And all I'm trying to do is just chill and interact. So let's keep going. If there are issues, chat, let me know. And maybe I can just try again tomorrow with some other settings or something else. I don't know what's happening. Just an hour ago now, a $100 tip. Whoa, 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 oh whoa. My God. Got the bad guy. Got... Fuck. Whoa. Yeah, so this is just basically a get the bag montage. In particular, I absolutely need help with tips today. If you tip me today and I hit the goal... Hey, big ups uh, Spooniton for 13 months. That's more than a year. If and again, the same thing. A year ago, this channel used to make uh, more things than nowadays. And nowadays, it makes less things. I stream today and I hit none of the goals. I'm fucked. And essentially, I'll, I'll be going grocery shopping. I guess we're going to eat a, eat, a, eat a lunch meat sandwich. You know, for our day off. Can't even have a meal out or nothing. Him and his wife are going to have to eat lunch meat sandwiches. Hey, it's the low lives. What's wrong with that? Exactly. Yeah. Be good. L I eat lunch meat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just so offensive to like normal people who sometimes eat a lunch meat sandwich because it's it, there's nothing wrong with it. But I guess I, I, I guess there is for Phil because he's special. He's special. Is the stream back in full force? I think it is. I think it is. Even though YouTube's still complaining, but they, they always complain. Those Silicon Valley, uh, whatever they are, people. And big ups, uh, Mirror Museum for the sub, dude. Big ups. $4.71 tip, and he says, congrats for beating the bosses. I appreciate that email. says this is specifically to support only your kirby streams don't you dare count this towards the stream tips goal i've actually been asked not to count this towards the stream tips goal so i guess i won't oh remember this there was a great uh, piece of peace video on this when he hid the the tip and he pretended it didn't happen and then he forgot to add it to the kirby goal you did kirby and I was or something like that but he was definitely concealing it on purpose 25 dollar tip i appreciate that i would absolutely appreciate if people could support this chill stream usually when i've been playing oh yeah there we go kirby not uh, donated 225s before the stream 50 should be added from the start of the stream and this is the start of the stream i think support ain't so great i'll be honest the last couple of streams it's been one to two people supporting the entirety of the stream all righty ladies and gentlemen welcome back to kirby and the forgotten land i hope you guys are ready for another couple hours of chill late night fun here on my stream noble ranger treasure all right there we go oh and some guy there we go now it's a now it's a very specific part of the stream dave and the whirly bird says didn't kirby not specifically tip 25 today and yesterday just for kirby at dsp gaming why have you not added these tips you should have started with the 50 that he said was only for Kirby, which is a, it, it is a very normal comment. It's very polite. Nothing wrong there. No trolling. It's just stating facts, as DSP likes to say. Now, what, is, what, what do you guys think is going to happen to this comment? Do you think it might get, perhaps, easily banned? You might be wrong. Or are you? Are you wrong? Oh, it's a message deleted. So he did get easily banned. Easily banned on purpose. Lean in manual with that 40, with that uh, 40 balloons behind him. That that great um, 
a birthday week celebration um, decor. Fantastic. Easily banned. Not even breaking a sweat. A lean in manual like none like none before. Is uh, the skills of a pure natural. Okay, this one got deleted. And he was even singing along to the music as he deleted it. Alright, we got a slight drop. DSP Gaming now has Super Thanks enabled. Thank you so very much. I'm so stoked that I finally got it. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm abusing the soundboard today. It's because it's brand new. I'm not going to do it in the future. So uh, just in case, just so you know. But I, I, I do really like the Vine Boom. The, the Boom is great. I love it. It makes everything more fun. But it, it might be a little bit too loud. But uh, I haven't decided if I care or not. About this for like months and months. And they were just giving me the runaround. Finally, I got it today. Which Finally. Is Massive success. Thanks a lot, everyone. And also, uh, super thanks nowadays, they don't they don't really do much. He doesn't get them a lot, and he doesn't promote them because he realized he doesn't get them a lot, but he was so hyped when he was about to get them because it's an easy way that he could conceal some income, that the trolls, they couldn't track it because he thought people would be super thanking videos from like 15 years ago. Allow me to send out a tweet as well as a... Uh, channel post so people know that we're back from break and there'll be two more hours of fun <whistles> i am back from break and ready <laughs> oh this is great we even get the text to speech dsp fun Join please me. come by and support i miss those tweets i miss them when people could just screenshot it and be like look he's literally begging <laughs> it's so good man <clears throat> The tips on the first stream were actually pretty slow, but then on the late stream, Jax Raxer dropped a giant tip, which was- Hey, it's, uh, it's Cux, Cuxer. It was actually slow. Big baller. I really miss the bag tweets. If you I really do. Content, if you like it, please- But now, um, what sucks is that now he's not a beggar. He has stopped begging completely, and his life changed. So, I guess, yeah, uh... I guess no more, uh, no more big tweets. Big ups, trash man. Spring to fall 2022 was unreal with the begging. I hope we get it again this year. Uh, yeah, spring and fall 2022 was crazy begging. It was the, the hardcore begging season. We were getting sometimes, I think, was it like six big tweets within like 24 hours? Somebody counted them and it was like crazy. The... The big tweet coin was to the moon. It was going wild. It was begamania on your ass. It was insane. I miss those times. When you would just log on Twitter and you would see, oh, hey, it's the DSP tweeted for money like four times. Please tip me today. Any tips that you provide today go directly to my day off tomorrow. Make no exaggeration about it. I don't have enough for my day off tomorrow. I probably have enough for groceries. And maybe some supplies for Jasper, right? And, you know, I just other things I need to do. I have to get stuff for around the house. I'd like to have a meal with my wife tomorrow, okay? So any tips today, that's literally exactly what it comes goes to. I have received a $25 tip from One Minute Man. There we go. One Minute Man gate. From One Minute Man. FYI, I did receive a $25 tip from One Minute Man. <laughs> Someone stole my identity. Hey, there we go. Decided to take money from me. That's a lie. That's a bold face lie. Three thousand dollars. Three thousand. No, no. That now. Now, first of all, and this is even uh, even Jade. Even Jade can see through this bullshit. Do you think Dark Side fucking Phil would have three installments worth of three thousand dollars in his bank account? Man that begs every day. So he either lies about how much money he needs and that he's financially destitute, or he's lying about people stealing a lot of money from him. So in, in any way you, you twist this, any way you look at this, he's a liar. Oh, fuck. Now I have no money. Now, I received a ginormous $250 tip from someone named XP Squad. 
Listen here, you uh, grand first mode looking haircut face. Oh, wait, the camera is off, so I can't, I can't run this. Maybe the camera was tanking my performance. But uh, big ups first, Phil, for uh, listen here, your ground mole looking haircut face. Thanks for all the content. You're welcome. Also, I do look exactly like that, so I'm not even getting offended. That's just uh, that's just stating facts. Let me get that on the leaderboard and let me read out what they have to say. I'm curious. And uh, good streams today. Good streams all week. You know, sucks that I didn't get more tips tonight. I, it really would help for tomorrow, but it is what it is. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll make do with what I got. You know, I might or might not get paid. Oh, look. Uh, who was the top tip on this on this clip? Is the Snorlax King. Well, wow, remember this dude that used to be a pay pig for DSP? And he was trying to buy his friendship, and then he decided, wait, this dude is a fucking scamming ass motherfucker. And then he asked for all of his money back, and then he got it. And I know this because I've seen the receipts. i seen the proof. So he actually did got it back. And then DSP quickly forgot about it. Because it's in his best interest to forget about it. Sucks that I didn't get more tips tonight. I, it really would help for tomorrow, but it is what it is. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll make do with what I got. You know, I might or might not get paid. Whoa! Oh, I know what tanked my performance. My laptop got unplugged. So now it's on, on like battery. Okay, now it's gonna be a little bit better. I'm right in the middle of doing a gameplay stream and my TV turns off. Oh, TV saga. Fantastic. My car broke down yesterday. My wife was gonna go to work in the morning. Car won't start. Getting an error, Uh, you know, check engine. And basically yesterday I had to get it towed to the shop. Got it towed to the shop, $200 bill. Guy, all right, if you're one of the people who just came in in the raid, I'm going to very, very quickly turn off sub mode. I'm just very curious where you came from. It's probably yeah, now now everything says uh, excellent connection. Did you just team I go game? So there we go. Just gifted another 50. Do you think hey, Pidgey's jealous of Phil's for the contribution, to dude? Also, Phil getting the good out. chicken reminds me so much of when he bogarted Liana's sandwich in the hospital. He's just growing old. He's clearly not growing up, lol. Uh, oh yeah, I, I definitely agree on the last thing. He's definitely just growing old, not growing up. And he's not even growing wise, because, I mean, it's Phil. He's just like a man baby. Uh, but he's definitely not not getting any better uh, with, uh, with age. It's only getting worse. And um, yeah, do I think that Cat is jealous of the breastage? I think Kurz is, is pretty decent. I don't think is is that bad. Uh, definitely better than his. You know, speaking of uh, shape, <laughs> speaking of, uh, I, I'm gonna stop here. And uh, stealing the chicken sandwich remind, reminds of the Leanna Hospital story. Well, that's because uh, he has no self awareness to actually realize. Hey, I'm I'm giving my soulmate the worst, like the worst part of the meal, and I'm taking the good one, even though I fucked up the meal. So at least on on that basis, he should give her the nice part of the meal. But I guess he's he's just a nice guy like that. The membership, I, I got about 300 subs. Yeah. Oh, and now we're uh, we're talking about the bot saga. People who rated, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Team I, uh, Team Igo Gamer. Thank you. I got another tip saying other people do have goals on their streams, but you're the only person who hides holiday events behind. All right, great. I hide holiday events behind you. You're absolutely right. I'm holding everyone high. Yeah, this is the, the signature DSP sarcasm where, where he just goes to the extreme, and it still doesn't make sense. What I do. What I've done is I've kidnapped Santa Claus. Yeah, he kidnapped Santa. I do not receive 150 memberships on DSP Gaming within the next two days. Christmas is canceled this year. All right? Basically, that's what it was. Outside of literally kidnapping Santa and all that stupid stuff. That's basically what it was. If he didn't hit that goal that yesterday he mentioned was just an arbitrary number, and that's why he could lower it down. If he didn't hit that goal, Christmas event would be canceled, so he wouldn't do it. So, yeah, th there you go. He wouldn't do a Christmas event. So that guy who told him that you're the only one who paywalls events, especially the Christmas event, he was right. And DSP had nothing to say about that, so he just joked about it. And it wasn't even funny. 
It didn't even make me go laughing my ass off. Laughing my ass off. He's in my closet right now. He's tied up. I've got his big bag of toys. The elves are out looking for him. They don't know where he is. I'm not releasing Santa Claus until I get memberships on this channel. I've had enough. That's it. We're pulling a full-on Oogie Boogie here. All right? I received a $100 tip from NDO103. So this guy tipped a dollar and says, you won't read this, but you should. Well, I'm going to read it. I don't think you're greedy. I do believe that you're you're poor and living paycheck to paycheck. Now, now again, that's another misconception. I'm not poor. I mean, uh, uh, of course you're not poor. Of course you're not poor. And I've said this before. He's broke. He's not poor. Because poor people don't make this amount of money a month, which is a lot of money. And then still struggle to get by. At $119,852. I'm surprised he is poor. Damn. Let's step up to number six. Benzugo lives. You cannot tip through Streamlabs. It doesn't work. You have to tip through Stream Elements. That's the new tips link. Please number nine, I can't use Streamlabs tips. Do you not remember why I moved from Streamlabs to Stream Elements? Because fucking Streamlabs also shadow banned me and didn't tell me shit. And I didn't do anything. Eventually they did respond because I asked them several times over the course of last year. And I got a response from someone who said, I'm not even kidding, here's what they said. Oh, our apologies that you never received any notice of why your Streamlabs was suspended. But it was suspended because you were mass reported and you know, violations of our terms of service and yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went back to them and I said, I didn't, I didn't, you know, violate your terms of service. I don't know what you're talking about. Can you provide any evidence? Nothing. They ghosted me. <laughs> you just get a 404. Yeah, one day it was just gone. Oh, and this is the Music Mouse Saga. It's just a, yeah, it's just a dude that, that send this to stream elements. But I hate the and, and this was a pretty old clip, but still, it, it, uh, it did the job. Music Mouse 7. Because, you know, King of Hate and all. That's what I have to say to you, all right? I, and I mean this sincerely. You need to listen. Get help immediately. You need help. And that was the that was the final blow. Telling the dude you need help. That was the final thing that, that got the job actually done. I can't even move around. Main Vega just did a super chase. For some reason, stream elements don't let me tip you. That's why I always super chat. Hope you're having a good one. Now, Main Vega, what do you mean? Can you go to tip and it's grayed out? That's a known bug for stream elements? Oh, that's a known bug. Uh oh. What is happening? What are these numbers? What do the numbers mean, Mason? Great. Great. So now I can't get tips via stream elements, seemingly probably because someone false reported me and they're tired of getting false reports. No, I got people false reporting me and attacking me for things I did 13 years ago. I rightfully call them out for it and say, this is messed up that people would do this to me and they stalk me like this and they need help. I have absolutely no notification at all from stream elements about this. So let me tweet them. Hey, Stream Elements. My tips page just became a 404. I haven't got any notice about this via email or a message on the site. I've been false reported on Moss. On, on, whatever. Uh, this week for stuff I did 13 years ago. So I hope this isn't related or just a temporary error. Please respond. Thanks. For the record, I didn't violate terms of service. 
This is what people that violate TOS say. This is bullshit. I am tired of this shit. I really am. No, I'm not gonna be a victim. Oh, now this business that doesn't know how to how to run a business. If that's what happened again. And now everything's on hiatus. Now I have to change the stream. I have to waste time trying to figure out another place to do this. Okay. This is bullshit. <clears throat> okay, it is. It's complete bullshit. F Fendel, just shut up. Just keep playing. Don't deal with it now. Oh, so, you know, during the time when I need to make dinner for my wife, when I need to set up for tomorrow's streams, don't do that. Okay, shut what up. What does setting up for tomorrow's streams even mean? Just making a broadcast and copying the settings from the previous stream and putting a generic thumbnail? Is that setting up for tomorrow's stream? I guess it is, and it takes a long time. Just stop right now. I'm already pissed off. I don't need another idiot, okay? Okay, let me plug this in. And on my day off, two days ago, I get a bunch of tweets from someone who's false reporting me to stream elements. For those who don't know, uh, for the last year and a half, I've been getting tips through a service called Stream Elements. Laughing my ass off. Those tips to be recorded and tracked, and then gives a pop-up here on the stream when someone tips me. I feel like they did me wrong. When I went to Stream Elements, I outright explained to Stream Elements. I said, here's the situation. And they said, don't worry. We're not just going to blanket grant uh, wh wh this this situation. We're not just going to blanket grant. We will, you know, we research these things. We don't punish people for no good reason. And then for a year and a half, I used that. There was a person who false reported me, okay, during my day off two days ago. And they did it on Twitter via the uh, the Stream Element S account, which is their Stream Element support account. And they literally linked to something from 13 years ago. I wish I could make this up, but they linked to a video of me playing Left 4 Dead 1 13 years ago. I don't hate this. But I hate the d The d d I hate the d Damn. Damn, 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 damn. That was some, um, I'm gonna be uh, today. unsavory comments. Not robust at all. You don't want to be saying stuff like that. So many times and it wasn't even funny, though. For the things I there wasn't a punchline. I totally understand. Because that's the thing with a lot of the things that he can claim as a joke. There's no punchline to it. It's just... I hate this group of people. That's that. That's it. That's the joke. Okay. Thanks, King of Hate. Thanks. How wrong those things were, and I told you guys repeatedly what the deal was with that. Okay, that it was bad. I've, I've changed. My content today is very different. You know. China, they say, rashness brings success to. Fear. Oh, and then we get the the other classic. Shut the fuck up. All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling it right off for profits. Bruh. You know, the funny part is the things that people say, oh, it's offensive or whatever. There, It's not. It's not. It's not even offensive, dude. Dark humor. <laughs> Dark humor. Dark humor. It's not cancelable. In a playthrough recently about, you know, children being kidnapped and sold into slavery by corrupt cops it's a joke it's not meant to be real it's a dark joke there's nothing wrong with that all right boys prepare the slave trade we're selling it right off for profits i make a joke about something else heinous they could be doing <laughs> i dropped the beat on this one so you know where where the joke is in case you didn't you didn't figure it out i mean i support child slavery you're an idiot if you believe that but the, <laughs> Did they say he supports child slavery in the tweets? Hey, look, this guy supports child slavery. Actually, we'll do that, right? They'll actually say, <laughs> oh, uh, you know, Phil meant it, and this is what, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's emphasis on dark humor. All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling a right off for profit. So two days ago, this person false reports me. 
to stream elements saying, oh, do you want this person in your program? Here's something they did. And I responded, that was a video from 13 years ago. Yikes. Okay. Yikes. I talked about it on yesterday's podcast. Okay. That, that tweet was single-handedly funnier than the joke itself. If I have to be honest. Said, this is ludicrous that people think that this is like acceptable or even normal behavior. And this person who linked this to Streamlabs is a fucking loon. Just as I was explaining two days ago on this very podcast about these loonies who act like this on the internet. That's not normal behavior. That is the behavior of someone who's, who's manic, someone who has something wrong up here. They're obsessed to the point of, you know, doing this crazy behavior. Music Mouse 7 on Twitter. Here's what I have to say to you, all right? I, and I mean this sincerely. You need to listen. Get help immediately. You need help. And it seems like he got easily banned from stream elements. You need to go immediately to either a, a friend or loved one, a parent. Disney fired James Gunn for edgy Twitter jokes 10 years ago. Why does Pigo think he's immune from that? So deluded. Uh, yeah, James Gunn uh, got fired for a lot of edgy jokes. So yeah, and he's uh, much more high profile than, than this dude. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Because Black Mage. Significant other or doctor, whatever. And you need to say, I need help. This person is messed up and needs to seek help if they're so... When is DSP going to get help? Looking through 13 -year -old he doesn't think he needs help. Videos to possibly find Isn't that what people who need help think as well? They, they don't think they need help. Something wrong that I could get held accountable for. He needs help with tips though. For the day off. Which the day off is tomorrow. That's a fact. You need to present this to some kind of an authority figure so that they can interject themselves into your life and help you to seek help. You need help. This is not normal behavior. This is unhealthy, sick behavior. Are you telling me that this report that they did this morning literally got my page shut down seriously if it is that is insanely ridiculous now i know that's a problem if there's a 404 error it means something specific has happened to your page it's not just oh there's a glitch or something and the page won't load a 404 error essentially means they deleted the page yeah it means it's gone they can't find it i did nothing wrong at all then we got the meme I mean, we got the meme with a sophisticated uh, version of it as well. Zero wrongdoing, which also means I did nothing wrong. In violate their terms of I like it when he says erroneously as well. I got erroneously suspended for something that I didn't even do. Service, I did absolutely nothing wrong, okay? To be punished. And he, use, uh, he uses erroneous when he's texting the support. That's when he busts out those uh, valedictorian words. Manner, if this is what's happening, Actually, what this is doing, it's empowering the wrongdoers. You're giving power to trolls who are literally only trying to ruin my life. Why would you do that? Just think about this. But if someone were to tip me $5, I could literally say, thank you so much to Anonymous for the $5 tip. Like literally I could just do it manually, but it sucks that I have to do it manually. What I would have to do is kind of monitor my PayPal Use their website, not Twitter. How would I do that? Here I am. I'm on Stream Elements right now. Help. Get support. <laughs> I love these streams. Okay. Send. Oh, I love the, the, the disaster streams. Because you know at least like five people are going to be restreaming that. It's going to be lit. We can hang out. We can have some beers. We can have some sound bites. We can get some voice clips for this segment. It's great, man. You ready? Oh, and he's gone. We got our answer. So now, you know, here we go. Based on a view of your activity or content, we have suspended your use of our services. We have a policy not to discuss any of these decisions. So no response will be given at all to this message. There it is. So what did I do? What are you talking about? What did I do wrong? Nothing. Oh, well, we you did nothing to... wrong. Yeah. Eh, well, it sucks. Huh? You don't. You don't think you have to. 
It probably says in the terms of service that they don't have to tell you what you did. <laughs> probably. Just like on Twitch, when, when he admitted himself right after he got departnered, that they don't have to actually give him a reason, they can take it away anytime, and then he still cried about it, and cried about them not giving him a reason. What confuses me about the Dead Space moment is what in his pig brain made him think that Isaac Clarke was a German name. Yeah, what made him think that Isaac Clarke was a German name? I guess it's just like, he defaults to, to just uh, edgy jokes, and the edgiest he could think of at that point was just Holocaust. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna have a Holocaust bit, and that's it. And he also said that he stole it from Howard Stern who probably had something similar to this, or at least in the same, uh, the, the same realm as this. So I, I guess, or maybe he was just drunk, or maybe he was just stupid, or maybe all of this, all of it, all of it. I guess so. Big ups uh, ghost politics for the catchy bishi. Okay. So I've had enough of this. I have, I've, I've officially had enough of this bullshit. This is the second business in a row that is unprofessional and doesn't know what they're doing. Like, second in a row, right? <clears throat> All right, we'll see about that. So, if I do- Oh, we get the shaky chair. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do another one. What's to stop these trolls from just doing it again and again and again? Nothing. And essentially, you know, I use PayPal for a reason. It's easily, it's easy to use for tracking and reporting purposes and all of that. Oh my. <laughs> the shaking, dude. We're having an earthquake. So you might as well have never sent that. Why'd you even send it? You're a fucking idiot. You wasted your time. Why'd you even send it if you say, we're not going to explain anything? So you're a moron. Okay. Oh, and uh, that's the great thing. Eventually, when he figures out that that bridge has been burned, he just starts name-calling. That's uh, that's always the gimmick. Always. When he realizes, okay, th so they screwed me? Uh, is, is this done? Oh, you're a bunch of fucking idiots. And I saw the writing on the wall. I should have deleted my page before you did this. You can't fire me. I quit. Logo Nomad said, what's the point? The point here is that I get pop-ups on my stream. You get the cool, uh, the cool face swaps that he stole from Shinko. That was Shinko's thing. And he stole it blatantly. Or at least the dude who makes them, because he doesn't make it, of course. It's somebody else who makes it. Rather than people having to manually have a PayPal account and then log in manually and send tips that way, you could create a PayPal page that everyone could just click on and then immediately send a tip through that. And I was like, no, I was not aware of that. And I made one last night. And you'll now see it's now it's pinned to the top of the chat if you're live on stream right now. He still has to monitor his PayPal for donations and manually play the animations. That would that's what he's doing. I think nowadays he's using the stream elements uh, widgets. So I, I don't know. It's just it's just such a mess the way that he runs the stream. I can't even make heads or tails of it. I think we've uh, we've talked about this on that being said with Sam because he runs the back end for us and he knows how all that stuff works because our stuff is significantly more complicated and sophisticated. Not to brag, I'm just stating facts. And he couldn't even make up how DSP was running that stuff. And now we go to PayPal. PayPal is the next thing. DSP is refusing refunds and encouraging people to create burner accounts, which is a fact. It's an actual fact. And he Stream lies about the info he must gets. have employed some of those. Star of David, S. Dude. Stream Elements is actually, a, I think, was a Israeli-based company. So I'm not surprised that they took it so seriously, him dissing the Jews at any point in time. Even if it was like a, a, a long time ago. Um, so yeah, let's get to uh, encouraging people to create burner accounts, which is actually a thing that he does. And there is evidence, as we're about to see. Just an email address. You could literally make up an email address, a, a new one, just to have a burner account to use PayPal. 
and he literally calls it a burner account. He's that shady. You don't have to have that email just be anything else but a burner account that you only use for PayPal tips. That's it. Okay? Hey, dude, just make a burner account, man. Why not? Why not? Just make a fake account. And yeah, nothing came out of this, but I, I honestly, I, I don't expect it to. Unless he does some more extreme shit or more scummy shit. We are halfway through. It's number five. Number five. I kind of forgot the entry, so this is very engaging watching it now because I don't really remember what the list is about. I think I remember just one or two entries. Ladies and gentlemen, I do have a request for you, okay? For those of you out there who do have skill in this kind of thing. Oh, there we go. This is uh, this is great. The intros. The fake intros. Hello. Wow. So Dayglo expanded on this saga. If you want to see some extra stuff, he was uh, on uh, the podcast recently. He was on that being said a couple of weeks ago. And he talked about his uh, emails behind the scenes with DSP and how he tried to basically uh, tell him what he wants to hear. And it's it, it, it's something. It's, it's very interesting. So he goes a little bit more in depth uh, on these emails. So if you like the troll intro saga, you can check out that uh, that episode. That obviously I wasn't on. Because I'm like part-time on that thing, I guess. I guess. Now I'm full-time, dude. Come on. Cut me some slack. What does that entail? Five I operate a household. A video clip with maybe a little bit of music and sound effects. Yeah, this was Kid Flynn. This is also a troll. Alright, good morning everyone and welcome to the Free Stream Podcast. So if anyone out there has any ideas or if you have talent in this regard and you'd like to take a stab at it, by all means please do. I would absolutely love to have a little mini intro. This was also Kid Flim. Podcast, okay? Awesome. Thank you in advance to anyone who even takes a stab at it. Oh no, what happened? I want to react. So this is how you don't play Metal Gear Solid. Oh, okay. Okay, now we get into the, the, the copy strike business. He files a false copyright claim against DSP Gaming. He's abusing YouTube's copyright claim system. So if he files a claim, he breaks the law. And his YouTube channel will be shut down for abuse of the YouTube copyright system. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him. He got him. And, and then DSP got two strikes. Uh, but this wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't Evil AJ. Because he had this whole stream, like DSP had this whole stream about, uh, he was basically on his knees, not, not physically, but metaphorically, on his knees, uh, begging wing strolls to leave him alone. And he went as far as to say, if you destroy all the lol cows, you'll have nothing left. So he was begging for them to retract the copyright strikes just so they can laugh at him. So this is how much he was, uh, he bent the knee to the trolls. Mr. Badass, Mr. Tough Guy. He was begging. Uh, and meanwhile, pretty much everybody knew that he was going to clear out those strikes. He kind of didn't because he is Mr. Paranoid as well. Uh, and it was kind of hard for him to, to get over it. But in the end, we got that amazing short of him saying, Trolls are defeated. We're going to stick it to them in the AM. So come on the, the fucking pre-stream podcast and uh, get a load of this shit. Yeah, uh, by the way, uh, shout out to Tractor Goose. That was a It's a very underrated video, the mind map video where she basically tried to piece together that entire segment and visualize it so you can see DSP's thought process as as much as you can physically accomplish. So yeah, it, it's a it's a wild ride. Currently under attack. We're under siege by the trolls. All right, just to preface this. This is not good. It's terminal. Sadly, this is the first time in years. I just got diagnosed with copyright strikes. And you guys, I don't know what to say. It's terminal. We're going down. That I have had to deal with this kind of nonsense. 
Uh, I'm not happy about it whatsoever. I'm incredibly upset, actually. Right now, I'm live streaming this on DSP Gaming, and at any moment, this stream could go down. I received false copyright strikes against the channel. Not happy about this. I've not had a false copyright strike in many years, and the last time that I had... Yeah, man, I'm, I'm using a different mic today. Uh, next time is going to be better, but I'm using the backup mic because I left my headset at work. So I, I try not to mess with it too much because I'm using the settings from the previous mic. Maybe if I calibrated in, enough before I started stream, it would have been better, but I didn't because... Uh, I don't know. It just, just here's a sound bite. Burger, 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 burger. I love the horse. I was able to clear it up relatively quickly because the person was impersonating someone they were not. I, I go to turn on my stream and I get a pop up saying, you have copyright strikes against the channel. Multiple, not one, multiple. Okay. You need to address these and then if you get one more, you're basically your channel can be terminated permanently and blah blah blah. It's the generic shit that they put in there. Alright. Sadly, with YouTube's system, it takes way too long for shit like that to clear up. It takes two business weeks to have that shit reversed. Right? <laughs> Within those two business weeks, he was um he was going crazy. It was the best. It was like the running storyline. Every kind of big, every kind of segment had everything to do with the copyright strikes. And um, yeah, after that, which is some cool lore as well, after that he saw a dip in the memberships and he blamed that on the trolls because people were scared to become members because his channel could have been deleted. So it's, it's, uh, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it's, a, it's a Phil thing. So it's just Phil. Essentially now for two business weeks, I'm at risk. That if anything else happens to the channel, it could get shut down completely. I do not have money in the bank. I have no savings. I have to work six days a week full time to make a living, to make ends meet. He has no savings because the trolls stole $9,000 from him. Remember? That was earlier on in this video. $9,000 from his savings that he didn't have to begin with, but then he had them. And then he lied and he decided not to, to keep lying about it. Because if someone actually stole $9,000 from this guy, he would go crazy. He would, like, actually go crazy. Every stream would have everything to do with those $9,000. It would be the biggest storyline of the year. To pay my bills. It would be the main event at WrestleMania. It would be DSP against the dude who stole the money in, like, a wheelchair match. Wheelchair casket match. So you need to put the guy on a wheelchair, then drive him to the casket, and then put him in, in the casket, and then close the casket. Okay. And then you do a daily rap telling how amazing everything was, but the support was slow. So if I can't stream six days a week, I can't pay my bills. I will lose things. I will go into financial ruin, and it will ruin my life. Laughing my ass off. My wife and my pet are both reliant on me. <laughs> and this is a great diss again. We put that photo. We, we're not going to put a flattering photo. We put that photo. Why would you have to do this? This is it's very toxic. Why are you laughing? Why are you even laughing? A, 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 a roof over their head to provide for them. When you hurt DSP Gaming, you're hurting... Yeah, that wasn't supposed to be a Tonka Saw joke, but if it makes it funny, then it was supposed to be one. So just, just left. There are people that don't even factor into the equation of what you don't like. How are you okay with that? Right? I have to support them. If you take away my business and I can't work, I have no money to support them. You understand? Of course, everyone is trying to say, well, what's going on? What's a I can't give you details. If I give you details, it could be considered doxing. If I get hit with one more strike on DSP Gaming, I can't stream here. There will be nothing for you to restream or make fun of. What's the point of that? <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense at all. This was from that stream that, like I just said, he was pleading. You, you, you wouldn't have anything to restream. You wouldn't have anything to make fun of. Except the, the 15 years before that, 
that people could just make videos watching and reacting to over and over and over again because there's so much stuff to talk about so yeah if dsp goes away we're, we're we got it covered there's still gonna be fun stuff and he's never going away so there you go the only way he goes away is in that casket match and i mean like for real not even wrestlemania the in real life casket match and he loses it what's up everyone i've got some really positive news that's so positive i wanted to do a short about it so you know about it right away after weeks of ongoing nonsense all of the false copyright strikes against dsp gaming have been removed because trolls have lost this is a big win for us, and I can't wait to stick it to him in the AM. So I'll see you then. Peace out, everybody. I said, what the fuck? Why is my phone vibrating so much? What just happened? So I open it up, and it says, 10 emails confirming that all the false copyright strikes against DSP Gaming have been lifted. I was like, yes! Victory. At one point, I kind of flawless victory. Fatality. Trolls lose. Healed. The biggest L of all time. To everyone out there, and I said, if anyone wants to submit any content for the podcast, I'm open. And it was funny because I got a bunch of people who submitted different kinds of content for the show all at once. And there was one particular person who said that they actually wanted to work with me directly. They claimed that they were actually someone who worked in like a video editing, like this was their job. And they wanted to take that into the realm of donating some stuff so that I could use it for my podcast. Yeah, he did say so, that's a, that's a good one. Uh, he did say instead of a kid, he has a better legacy. He has a legacy of thousands of videos. The, and, and yeah, he, he had a whole segment about why he wouldn't have a kid. It's because he didn't, he didn't need to leave an actual legacy. He can just leave a bunch of YouTube videos because they liked me and my content and they wanted to see their stuff featured and it made them feel good to see their content on a stream, but also they wanted to help out. You know, I put the intro <laughs> on the show. This is the, the day glow intro. Like, well, why? And they're like, well, did you notice that some of those machines are gotcha machine? And I was like, I'll be honest with you. No, I didn't even really notice that that's what it was. This particular person starting in January and over the course of February, all right, made me several both different intros and outros for my podcast. <laughs> you know what's really funny? If somebody tells you they work in video editing, like actually professionally, and then they send you that intro with the gotcha machines. That's suspicious. That is very sus. And I would say you probably shouldn't be putting it up on stream because they're probably lying. And... Again, I worked with this person. In fact, this person also did some intro. Because somebody that works in, in media and video editing would be editing videos like Secret Limited or like Ludwig. For several streams. I was playing Pokemon at the time. They did a Pokemon intro. I was playing King of Fighters. They did a King of Fighter intro. The thing was, most of those were bumpers, meaning I would play them at the beginning of a stream, and that was it. They were never recorded. They were never, you know, archived on YouTube. It was only a bumper for those those special streams he did his intro and i don't remember what game it was for but it was like slamming the ceo of youtube like saying <laughs> nasty things about her i'm like on what planet do you think i would use this in my content but you were doing that they though made it they how, how was the intro slamming it? it wasn't it his clip of saying susan leave the the ham sandwich in, in regards to the the super thanks actual licensed copyright music and i said to them i said like why how could i use this this is definitely starting to not make any sense at all okay it's just confusing as shit like what he's saying i'm like how many people like that would you want to bet he gets emails from Hey, Phil, I've been watching your videos for 16 years. I want to help you out by making you this great intro. I work at CNN as a video editor. I've actually edited multiple Marvel movies. And uh, here's this quick thing I made. Right? Like, what are you talking about? The guy definitely seemed like his mind was all over the place and maybe had some issues. I don't know. We're, we're basically all just broke down. I hadn't heard from the guy in a little bit. I was still using his intros and outros, but I hadn't heard from him for a little bit, okay? And 
Then all of a sudden he came back out of nowhere and he's like, I got a new one for you. I got a new intro to use on your podcast. I was like, okay. Now, I'll be honest with you. I only used the intro once and I don't really remember exactly how. It was really long. <laughs> yeah, at some point he had like five minute intros. Intro and I saw something. But that's that's the thing, man. Beggars can be choosers. If you want to take stuff for free, you gotta get what people send you. If you can't make it yourself. Fucking Tevin. Tevin. Where? I I, I still can't see it. And I know this is Frogger because it it says it on the screen. But I I just can't see it. Oh, I get it now. This guy probably has hidden this shit. In all of the- <laughs> We have a Hulk Hogan. And I think that was um, Ann Lee's secretary lady. The intros. How much do you want to bet this guy- There's hidden shit in all of them that no one knows. But the guy's one of these eccentric losers. So anyway, I don't hear back from the guy. It's been like two weeks. I hear nothing. Okay? So I write one more email to him. And I said, you know, it would have been nice if you could have like been a man. And fessed up to what you did. But it's obviously that you're a puss. It's messed up that you did this. And, uh, you know, good riddance. I don't ever want to hear from you again. <laughs> so if you want to see the actual, the actual receipts, uh, you can go to the, the, that being said, uh, that, uh, I'm typing with one hand. And you can actually watch our episode with Dayglow where he goes through the actual emails and he tells you word for word bar for bar uh episode 32 that's the one so you can go check it out it's uh it's fun that was the end of it because i wasn't there I pissed him off. so he responds i don't know what you're talking about i'm serious so you can compare this story dsp story with the actual story of the actual emails you're making this up I don't know what your problem is, Phil. I think you're paranoid because you have so many trolls. But I'm incredibly insulted that you would say this about me. How dare you accuse me of something that I have not done? This guy isn't just like, you know, fuck off, I'm a troll, neener, neener. He starts actually making demands. Yeah, he starts making demands. You better take down every podcast that you've done with my content in it. I want you to take down all of your Skyrim content. I want you to stop using the phrase Skyrim after dark because listen to this. Because I trademarked it. <laughs> this is great, man. This is some good trolling. I trademarked the phrase Skyrim after dark. <laughs> uh. And he gets this face in response. I went to the trademark office and I trademarked Skyrim After Dark. What? Laughing my ass off. Do you even know how the process to trademark something? To trademark something, the quickest you could do it is six to eight months. Listen, you're nuts. You don't have any concept of how any of this works. You don't work for some editing company. You don't work for any trademark. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't file a trademark. You're a fucking nut job. I want nothing to do with you ever again. Here's what I'm going to do. I will not use your content anymore because I don't want to be a part of you. I don't even want you to be in my content because you're, you're fucked up. You're in the head. I don't want to be a part of you. <laughs> like they were having sex or something. Two weeks ago, I was going to do my... He was breaking up with Dayglow. There used to be a couple for a little bit and then they broke up. But that was behind his wife's back. Because obviously, he, he loves his wife. I love the horse. Big ups. Burger. I react to this is how you don't play Metal Gear Solid 2. This seemed to completely incense trolls on the internet. They got so upset with the fact that I was going to react to this. That a bunch of them were trying to actually have a concerted effort to take me down. In this case... All right. When I was reviewing the information of the false claims against the channel, I found something interesting. If I hovered over a certain yeah, he could see all the comments portion of the screen. 
all of a sudden he that was that was inevitable man as soon as people saw he got a bunch of uh, like troll intros it was obvious that some of them are gonna get hit by this because it, it's just like a thing that happens to dsp it's just a pattern and it's a pattern that everybody else can recognize but not him not him which was the funniest thing because he's just so desperate for you to give him something so he can use it for free and he couldn't see that pattern and everybody else could oh yeah that's right they used to be boyfriends i need my boyfriend that's how dsp reacted when people stopped making them troll intros i need my troll intros i need my boyfriends i, I, I need my boyfriend pop-up message would appear. Now, if you want to see where this soundbite is from you're gonna have to look through like 60 hours worth of rambly videos so i did it for you and i picked it up and it's a, it's a good one and there's also the one about snort but i promise i'm not gonna play it again because it's it's way too toxic snort man you getting no i'm not gonna say that uh rewind the stream if you want to hear the whole thing here that actually display but also there's this one that's that's fantastic talk about my wife please please Talk about my wife, please. Please. Ban everybody in chat not talking about my wife. I love the horse. That's good. Good. That's how you do it. The claim. Only positive stuff. Issued against me in detail. No negative stuff. Phil DSP Gaming wanted intros for his content. You know, originally I gave permission, but recent evidence came to light on how he scams viewers into chipping. Dayglo Buck broke him. <laughs> yeah, man, it's uh, it, it was a great segment about the about the intros when he cried about him. It, it really broke him. It really did. Big ups, Black Mage. To feed his gambling addictions. <laughs> I asked him nicely. <laughs> yeah, okay. To remove my videos on his channel. Please remove my videos from your videos because you haven't apologized. I'm rescinding my permission to use my work, my email to him. That is not his email. But I asked him to remove them because of DSP's actions towards his fans. Again, this guy, just reading that, it's not even a coherent thought. DSP Gaming had lied and broke terms of service. Okay, now here's another one. I've broken the terms of service asking for tips that fuel his gambling. Oh. Um, he still has not done so, and he profits off of my work. Because I've had enough of people breaking the fucking law to try to take me down. How about this? Fuck off. Get a fucking life. How about this? I'm gonna be an internet tough guy. I've had enough of this. Which, like, how many times have you seen this segment of DSP? I'm putting my foot down. I've had enough of this. I'm not taking this anymore. And then he just keeps taking it, and he didn't have enough of it, and it keeps going. So he didn't do anything about it. But are you aware that because Wings got shut down or whatever, that now his trolls are saying they're coming after you? To which I would respond, Huh? So you shut the guy down. We're gonna move on to someone else now. We're gonna move on to DSP. What? Like, I don't get it. Okay? I am not Wings of Redemption. I don't understand where you're coming from. In my mind, in my body, everything here on this channel. Does this look anything like you would find on Wings of Redemption's channel? I'm not Wings. Spoken like a true champion. Ranking in the top four. Uh-oh. Is this is this going to be foreshadowing for the next entry? Like a true champion? Oh, yes, it is. Oh. It's champion's time. Oh. Yeah, I got him. I can't... Wow, finally. Oh, hi, everyone. How you doing? Didn't see you come in. Welcome to Level 1 Podcast. ESP here. Sorry, I was busy spending hundreds of thousands of dollars doing crazy pulls in a mobile game. But, uh, you know, it's time now to start streaming for the week. So how is everyone doing? <laughs> I love that cold open, man. I love that open. 
I love it. He's becoming self-aware, you see? The fact that he made fun of this means that it's not true, even though it's true. WWE Champions. It's true. It's true. damn true. Damn true. Oh, that nice perk angle reference. Big ups perk angle. They should give him a second gold medal just for the amount of perks that he took and survived. What is WWE Champions? WWE Champions. Oh, who is this? Game that is yes, we made it. We made it. We made it. This is it. This is it. Thanks, everyone. Uh, I would like to thank my family, uh, my, my house that I operate. I would like to thank That Being Said Podcast for having me on. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so this is me. Uh, a big up secret for putting me in. Similar to Candy Crush, but with wrestlers. So they fight and you match the gems. And what sucks about it is also it's low-key turn-based, so it you can't really get in the groove of breaking the gems because after every breaking of a gem, the opponent gets their turn. Did you hear about the crazy conspiracy theory about you spending $40,000 on mobile games? DSP is apparently addicted to mobile gaming. The bottom line is, it's ludicrously stupid. I've said a million times, no, this is not the case. It's not true. It's really dumb. Stop spending your money on mobile phone games! I don't think about WWE Champions. Fuck this. And fuck you for even bringing that shit up. Why are you laughing? Carol, read it. Oh, wondering why you keep trying to tell people the WWE account isn't yours. There's lots of evidence that shows it is. Be honest with everyone. Okay. I'm going to say it one final time. It's not my account. Bruh. 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 It's not his account, guys. Definitely not. <laughs> not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years including this fucking wwe game that these idiots keep bringing up your number was doxxed is registered as they call me dsp on line app line app was used by some on D wwe mobile game me. what i am the one who still has the same phone number i'm the one who you know what i mean i fully explained to the bankruptcy lawyer up front chances are anything that could be public on the internet is gonna go public okay Okay, what is WWE Network? Okay. So where are the $5,000 a month in business expenses? I'm just asking you to explain your expenses. Laughing my ass Which off. Which we've done. Which we've done. So why are you asking again? <laughs> he was so badass. Which we've done. Why are you asking again? He knew it was a fucking troll. Uh, by the way, I have to do a quick uh, derailment because there's something that was posted on Twitter that I think is worth mentioning. So Phil Collins, at King of Gout 1. It's a great tag, by the way. Uh, he says, actually doesn't say. He posts a screenshot of uh, YouTube Terms of Service uh, speaking about YouTube Shorts. And here's what it's posted, okay? I'm going to read this out. Creators will earn 45% of the money generated from ads that run be between short videos. YouTube is expanding its YouTube Shorts business starting in early 2023. Shorts creators who reach 10 million short views over 90 days can apply to earn money through YouTube's partner program. Dog, damn, 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 damn. damn. So our boy, Mr. Hype, Mr. Hype Beast, Mr. I'm gonna make a lot of money on shorts, has to reach 10 million views over 20, uh, 90 days to even be able to make some from the partner program. And this is just a screenshot. Uh, I'm, I can't verify this on the spot, but this is what I'm seeing right now. And it looks legit. And I, I wouldn't think King of Gout 1 would lie to us like that. So... It is very likely that our boy is going to be severely, severely disappointed from the idea that he could uh, double dip, triple dip, multi dip into this uh, short industry.
So yeah, I don't think that's going to go over very well. But uh, you could fact check me on this because I just saw it from literally just looking on Twitter. Uh, so it's not verified a thousand percent fact. So if you would like to look it up, see for yourself, go for it. I might be wrong. So this is not a, it's not breaking news, but it is pretty interesting. And he might be very, very disappointed. So today you might get a, a very, uh, a, a big crybaby rant about it. And he's going to be begging people to go check out his shorts, which, I mean, he makes like, what, 2,000 views a short max, maybe 5,000. So looking at those millions, probably not going to be millions. Damn. 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 Anyways, um... Uh, let's keep going. Got the bankruptcy, you dumb fucking shits. You, you're not getting anywhere with this meme that you're continuing on. It's doing absolutely nothing. You're so fucking stupid. You spent $40,000 on the WWE Championship mobile game. And I appreciate this. I really need the help. I need to hit this goddamn tip goal today. Please, guys. The Brick Boy 103. <laughs> Just did a $300... Are you guys ready trash, to man. enjoyful watch unfunny censored shorts to get Phil to 10 mil? Do your part snort snort. Yeah, you guys, we, we gotta get DSP to 10 mil. Let's get Phil to 10 mil. That's hashtag Phil to 10 mil. Hashtag. And I guess this is gonna make uh, trolls just download his shorts and re-upload them so they don't end up giving him the views. Because, uh, I mean, I watch on my streams plenty of shorts. So I think I'm gonna stop now. I think I'm gonna stop, so we can see how much he's gonna cry when shorts, uh, when uh, trolls stop watching his shorts, and uh, I'll do my part. I promise. I promise. I'm gonna download them myself because I'm an asshole like that. I'm gonna be super petty about it, even though that's probably not gonna do anything. I'm I'm gonna do my part. Hashtag fill to ten mil, ten mil fill. <laughs> but uh, we'll we'll see how that's gonna work out. We will see. Dollar. It's definitely a, a cool development because I was thinking they can't just put a bunch of ads in between all the shorts. That's going to make it unwatchable. And apparently their terms are, are pretty weird like that. So, yeah, I will see. Tip. You know, Gloob, if you ever ask me a stupid question like that again, I'm just going to ban you outright. I mean it. Um, one particular person managed to socially engineer their way into getting a hold of Darkseid Phil's banking records. A pre-authorized payment of one... Uh, I didn't know that this dude had a, a, a channel. One particular person managed to socially engineer their way into... Hey, big ups, uh, Agustinio Zinga. Uh, you can go subscribe to him if he makes cool stuff. I didn't even know he was making stuff. So big ups to him. I've seen him around. He's uh, an enjoyer. Of the the streams. Getting a hold of Darkside Phil's banking records. A pre-authorized payment of one hundred ten dollars and nine cents. One hundred ten dollars and nine cents. Yo, speaking of which, uh, during his uh, stream, Sly mentioned that I should remix this, and the thing is, he reminded me that I actually did. Uh, so I'm, now I'm going to play the remix of the TTS lady reading out the $110. And I'm going to play a bunch of sound bites over it because obviously that means it's funny, right? Okay, that was it. One hundred ten dollars and nine cents. It's all bullshit because it's not my fucking account. One hundred ten dollars and nine cents. One hundred ten dollars and nine cents. One hundred ten dollars and nine cents from PayPal. About two years ago, I was playing this game WWE SuperCard a ton. One hundred ten dollars and nine cents. $81.44 from Apple iTunes. It's not my account. 
Hey, duty, where did you post this uh, this thing, man? I'm trying to find it. Hello, everyone, the link to the thing, so I can pull it up on screen. If you're wondering what's going on, Jasper has once again stolen my seat. Is it a YouTube post, maybe? You could watch him sit here and steal my seat. Oh, oh, Jasper is attacking me viciously. We have come to the main event. This video is the daily wrap. This was uploaded on the 23rd of July 2022. Within the last two years, Phil said he hasn't played the WWE Champions application game where he has spent thousands or ten thousands of dollars. He never said anything within his content or shown any proof showing the game. Yeah, now we get all the receipts. That's all about to change. Let's have a look at Phil's phone. The quality of the video is a little poor, but if you are familiar with the game, you can make out what is on Phil's phone. This is the brawl feature within the WWE Champions application game. This is the team green button. This is the scores yellow button. This is the yellow leaderboard button. This is the more info button. This is the time clock. This is the blue section where your wrestlers would be. This is the chat box. These are all from the WWE Champions application game. That's just raw facts, man. That just said that's the receipts. This more than confirms DSP gaming playing and gambling on the WWE Champions mobile game. 110%. In nine cents. In nine percentiles. So, okay, here we got uh, Duty sent me this on Twitter DMs, big ups. And uh, now we get to see the updates. So let's see where it says uh, more opportunities for more creators. Let's see what the text of speech has to say about this. Uh, okay, we look up this. We look up the read aloud. Let's see what it got to say. YouTube offers 10 Check ways for creators me. to earn money on YouTube. While we're adding to the ways you can earn with this announcement, we're also introducing varying eligibility thresholds for YPP to open it up to even more creators. Starting in mid-January 2023, newly eligible creators will be able to join YPP by either getting 1,000 subscribers with 4,000 valid public watch hours in the last 12 months, or getting 1,000 subscribers with 10 million valid public shorts views in the last 90 days. Okay, so this is for the YouTube partnership program. And uh, what we're actually looking for is the amount of um, short views that you need so you could actually monetize them. Uh, this was the uh, conditions in which you would get accepted into the partnership program. So, then we get uh, become eligible for YPP with shorts. Let's say we're already into the YPP, right? Uh, let's see what else they got. Replacing the YouTube shorts fund. What? When shorts ad revenue begins, it will replace the shorts fund. Okay, so... Ad policies. Okay, well, YouTube's ad policies still reply, uh, still apply. Okay, well, I automatically joined. Will they automatically start monetizing? Not automatically. If you're already monetizing and have shorts, you'll be eligible to share in ad revenue as outlined above. So let's actually look this up in how it uh, how it reflects on what we got going on. Uh huh. So I can't see the the, the million the public views. Hey, big ups, uh, Infidel Castro. Uh, says uh, thanks for putting in the work. Well, duty sent me this page, and hopefully I'll be able to find it here. But this is about uh, new ways to earn. I think there's uh, there's something more to it, but I'm maybe I'm just being a boomer with this. I can't quite find where it is exactly. Okay, you will become... Okay, so all new and existing creators will become eligible for revenue sharing on ads that are viewed between shorts and in the shorts feed. So everybody should be eligible. 
So he should be able to make money on the shorts. That that would make sense. Each month, revenue will be added together, used to reward shorts creators to help cover the cost. So that might not be uh, valid. What I saw on uh, on uh, Sir King of Gout. And let me just cross-reference with what that said. How long was I muted for? God damn it. How how long was this silent for? Okay. Uh never mind. Mm, uh, this might not be correct. So we're going to hear him today on stream and what he says about it. Let's go back to watching the top 10 video. And I'll I'll try and research see what I can see, but if it is regarding him joining the partner program and that's what he needs 10 million views on, then he is already in the partner program. So he doesn't actually need to do that. Okay, I think I think we got this settled. Uh, all time, he's won twenty thousand battles. He has been playing for two thousand and sixty days, and he's been consecutively logging in every single day for one thousand seven hundred and five days. In all time, he has a 99.4 win percentage. At this point, the negative meme about me is so stupid that there's nothing to do but joke about it at this point. As I've told you guys, it doesn't matter what I say or do. Morons on the internet will believe what they want and say what they want, and I have no recourse against it. So rather than fight it, rather than ignore it, I'm just going to lean into the fucking meme and laugh at the idiots, okay? So I play the game to the point where Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so okay, let's uh yeah, that is that is, uh, that is getting debunked. So the the 10 mil meme as fun as it might be uh, is not correct. That is talking about like we just saw in the in the terms of service, uh, you applying to become a partner. DSP is already a partner, so he is eligible to make money off of the shorts. So we put this to rest. That is a a fake so we, we got a quick debunk on the spot. Okay, there we go. Let's let's move on to um, the game that he does not play. Score. Um, whether it be uh, talents up, whether it be playing the game for like five hours, or uh, doing the events, um, to the point where I would get to the minimum score. And if there's ever a case where I can't get to the minimum score, I am part of a faction called the franchise or it's Team Slam, who has okay. a spreadsheet that we help create for each person, so they know how much they can get without spending any money whatsoever so okay. then usually i'll take my score wait for dsp to show up at some point at the top 100 um and then take my score and minus it from his score so i'll get the difference i take the difference and then i divide it by um how many points you can get per coin like the, of spending because one coin will give you x amount of points like uh four thousand points mm -hmm. And then if you take that, once you get that amount, you get how many coins he would have had to use to get there. Once you have that, you can divide it by how many coins are in a $100 pack, which is the cheapest pack. Because uh, um, they usually do like seven coins for $20. But if you buy 100 of them, you get five extra coins. And then once I divide that by the pack, I find out how many packs he bought to go ahead and get to there. and then just move the decimal over and that's how much money you have
Do not listen to these idiots who are going to say, oh, <laughs> Bill says he hits this week, but he's lying. He's not for Bills because he's going to fucking pull in mobile game. They're dunces. And I'm just, you know, that's how I'm going to approach it from now on. Just laugh at them, make jokes about it. It's just really stupid. WWE Champions was hosting an event, four day long event, and Phil seemingly spent over a thousand dollars on said event. I did send a screenshot to my guild members and they all look at it and go, wow, he spent a lot of money. I don't do that. I don't. I'm fucking, I need money for bills this week. I need the help. If I don't get enough tips this week to pay my bills, I'm in fucking trouble. I don't even know what I'm going to do. All right. <laughs> I mean, there's not much I can say about this. It's, it's, I'm just stating facts. It's just stating facts. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't even remember if that was my account name in there or not. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I don't. I haven't booted it in so long. I couldn't even tell you if that was my account name in the game or not. There's, you can usually catch him when he's on, and it's always like before his stream, after his stream, at 1 a.m. his time, and usually <laughs> in between. Is there any skill involved? Or is it literally um, get the best you ever? There is about? skill until you spend a lot of money. In a tour, if you are facing somebody and you lose, uh, you can pay 300 cash or $3 in real life to go ahead and redo the match. <laughs> Every time you lose, it goes up by another $3. So it'll be $6, then $9. Oh my God. I would wow. pay to know how high it's gone, you know? Right now, I'm spending zero. I have no money to spend on mobile games. In the past, yes, I spent. Did you would think I ever spent forty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars on mobile games in the past? No. Yes. Bullshit. Pug. This guy says, "Oh, did you spend three thousand dollars on the account?" I don't know. I don't know. What? 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 I would hope not. I would hope not. What? You're not giving me a lot of confidence here, Dark Side Phil. You really are not. Did I spend three thousand dollars? Well, I hope not. I might have. I I hope not. And you you suppose people want to believe that? Are you serious? How do you expect people to believe that? When you yourself, you don't even know how much you spent. Hey, did you spend three thousand? Oh, well, I don't know. I, I don't know. Hope not, <laughs> man. But don't listen to those trolls that have actual proof. Don't listen to them. They're stupid. They don't know anything. They don't know anything. But I'm telling you, just have like an hour-long video detailing every single piece of evidence they have ever had that makes complete sense and leads to me. Do I know how much money I spent? Did I spend three thousand? I don't know. I, I, I don't know, dude. I might have. I, I hope not. <laughs> it's like he has like split personality. He got Phil Burnell, and then there's Dark Side Phil, who is the guy who actually spends the money. I'm telling you, I did spend money on mobile games in the past. I admit it. That's how I know how addictive they can be. That's how I know how bad they are for people to get caught in that kind of addictive nature. Oh yeah, if you're if you're curious on the inner workings of the game. And this is becoming like a shill stream. But those clips of uh, TJ Gamebox talking about it are from our podcast where he was on. And it's a it's an episode where he explains literally everything about the game. And me and ALT Insider, we also downloaded the game so we could play it, so we could see how trash it is. And we give it our feedback, our true and honest feedback. And that's also a fun episode. Tractor Goose was on as well. We talked about like Keemstar and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. So you can go check it out. For some reason, I look completely red the whole episode, but nothing I could do. I'm just going to blame it on my camera or something. So there, there you go. Quick plug. You're, you don't know how much percentage it actually is to get the new character. No. Um, you only know that it's a 1.3%. So you think, oh, I'm going to go do 100 pulls because then that means I have to get a featured, right? No. No. Um, yeah. But if you're Phil and you're spending 400 500 600 dollars and you keep getting 50 shards, 50 shards, 25 shards, 30 shards, eventually you get the character. Eventually. Because, of course, you brute force your way through, but you're spending hundreds to thousands of dollars to get this character that turns out might not even be a good character because no one's really tried him out yet. Well, if you look at um, the bank records, uh, Phil will build out 
humongously for an NWO Hulk Hogan. Because at least <laughs> oh yeah, because he can cross reference with the with the spending DSP, in what and event was live. Yeah, it's a DSP Jekyll and Hyde situation. You don't even know which uh, which is Jekyll and which is Hyde. They're both Hyde. It's just one of them spends a lot of money, Four, five. <laughs> and the other one begs for it. <laughs> oh, that must suck, dude. That's terrible. Big ups, Juan. From last time I checked. What's the episode called? Uh, was it the the? Fuck me, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you you can find it. Just look up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll pull it up. All right. Yeah, I, I am red as fuck in that whole episode. I don't know why. Just for it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. This is around five k for what one care one character. Because this was around his. Here it is. It's uh. uh oh, so this was a um, this was a triple whammy. So it's called the six star plug. Uh, the six star pull. Episode twenty. Uh, we talked about him getting taken down from stream elements, which is another entry on on this list. We talked about. I think Keemstar, yeah, him do, him doing the Keemstar react, and then we talked about WWE champions. So it's a it's a triple feature. Like the, the birthday money during that time. I'm leaning into the meme here at this point. If they want He's to leaning into the meme. Fucking day. <laughs> Zero. He he also leaned into the meme of his wife being a horse by saying. I love the horse. Yeah, that was him leaning into the meme. Of any. He gave it a lean in manual. Easy ban. Easily banned. What I make is going towards mobile games. Okay, zero. Literally zero. I need to pay my bills this week. So if you can support the streams, please tip if you can. Don't listen to their their insane nonsense conspiracy theory documentary bullshit. It's just so hilariously stupid. These idiots spend so much time on this and it's all fucking wrong. It's literally- It's all wrong. Except a lot of it is based on nuggets of truth. So go figure. Fun in a way, like I said, they start with this. Little... They start with this. So this is it's this is also all, all wrong. Nuggies. But we start with this. Keep adding the breading on the outside. Right. That's, that's called proof. That's called proof. Yeah, it is definitely called proof. A little chicken nugget becomes a giant boulder of bullshit when the only thing that was true was this tiny little piece in the middle. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I'll see if I can take a picture. Oh, let's see if we're gonna take a picture. What is happening here? I guess I'll see if I can take a picture. Oh, it's this. Uh, I, I don't think. Yeah, I, I don't think this is it. Nah, I think this is a... This looks like a photo of a sunset to me. You can see mountains and you can see a sunset behind it. I, I don't think this is champions. This is the kind of shit that DSP would watch the video and be like, Oh, look at those fucking idiots. They lied about everything. And this is proof. These idiots think that they can judge psychically how much money someone is spending on a game it's not psychically it is it is very uh well there were clips of tj explaining how exactly he calculates it and his estimate is actually pretty it's pretty generous it's pretty conservative so he didn't really go like above and beyond to make up some crazy numbers it, they are pretty uh, realistic numbers it's basically the the minimum Right? How would you know? How would you know? It, it is pretty easy to know. I gave them a rough estimate of a hundred thousand dollars at least, a hundred k, because oh. uh, I, because I took the forty k that we knew of before the bank leaks of that the the VIP. Yep. Because the only way you can get that to that point was to spend at least forty k. Then we took the forty five k that we knew from the bank leaks from that point, and then I figured, well. If you take like a graph or anything like that, you find the difference now from the bank leaks to now to be about 15k. So it's going to be at least 100k minimum that he spent on this game. I mean, basically, yeah, You're pretty much. You're blowing so much money into this game, and it's affecting your life is affecting the lives of your fans who fucking have to suffer financial detriment themselves to, to support you when you fucking pull on the black shirt and beg profusely for their help and their support and you fucking make them feel bad about themselves because they weren't able to fucking give you the money that you wanted and demanded from them it is not their fucking fault Phil to fucking have to make sure that they have to step up just to feed your own fucking fix here 
your next pull in WWE Champions, you have to get that rush to fucking pull the next fucking card and get the brand new six star wrestler and all that shit. Bill, enough is enough. It is time to seek help. You I need saw an help. I video about the guy saying he gambles in WWE Champions, and I don't support that, so I want my money back. That's not how it works, stupid. Have I played this mobile game, WWE Champions? Yes, I've publicly admitted to it in the past. I've even talked about the game in the past, right? Am I the person they say I am in the game? No. Yes. I'm not the person that they say is in chat logs and has spent all this money. That's not me. Yes, it is. I mean, we, we don't need any more proof. Like, we don't need any more proof. Not, not anymore. It's all, it's a closed case. All right, so this is gonna be the end of it. I think halfway there, because I, I remembered what is coming and there's a lot of stuff and I don't have enough stuff to cover all of it. The, it a lot of juicy moments, let's let's just say that. And I think we're at the top three. So I think I'm gonna leave it for here. It's a fantastic video that I wanna take as much time as I can to enjoy and appreciate and and talk over it as, as much as I have to say. So I can't do this now. I'm gonna play some music and that's gonna be all for this time. If you wanna check some of those episodes that were featured in this video, you can go ahead and do so on That Being Said channel. Uh, the, the one that we saw most recently was the one with TJ Gamebox where we talked about champion stuff. We talked about more or less most of the, the drama of this year. Uh, we did the Christmas episode, which is number 30. So you can go check out the tier list. It's a two and a half hour special for Christmas. So uh, that was it for today. Thanks everybody for checking out the stream. Thanks for hanging out, interacting. I think this stream is uh, forwarding you to King Jad. So if you want to go play some bingo, you can do that. And if you don't, you're going to get forwarded there no matter what. So you don't really have much of a choice. I guess I'm not even going to play some music. I'm just going to end it here. And you can get forwarded there. And you can have fun. And you can say hi to King Jad for me. And uh, that's it. So thanks everybody. There was uh, a little bit of technical difficulties. Again, we debunked the thing about the the 10 million. That's not a thing. It's uh, it was a, a fake thing. I just saw it on Twitter. Uh, I'm sorry if I created too much hype around it, uh, but it's not real. Again, he's already in the partner program. So yeah, let's get this over with. See you around. Uh, ending the stream, and uh, see you around, guys. Yeah, that's it.